You're listening to another Woodshop podcast, the OKS podcast of its type. Your hosts are Daniel Dunlap of Daniel Dunlap Woodworks and Peter Kapar of Petrie's Workshop. You can find them as well as the podcast on your favorite social media platforms. Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode 191 of Another Wood Shop podcast, also known as Another Shop Sounds podcast, where we decided to stop competing with the other number one podcast and decided to combine powers to make one show and create the world's greatest woodwork, woodworking podcast. Brought to you by our patrons and wonderful people at Bits and Bits. Get Bit, baby! Featuring the Mayo King of Sarpy hey, County. So <laughs> the pierogi <laughs> prince himself the one and only cat whisperer and the man whose wife got so tired of him working on the house that it forced him to buy another house just so he can mess that one up too <laughs> what's up at shop sounds this year woo yay hey, thanks look so at all much for having us AWP we're... is here depending on which podcast you're listening to we're so privileged thank so... you <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can I right. dial your energy down a little bit, Keith? Yeah. Are we doing this like an NPR episode? Uh, right. Thank you for joining us today. Um, my name is uh, <laughs> Catalina Varshin Sassenton. Today we're talking about <laughs> leg hair. <laughs> what uh, can you make of it? Kel Varnson. Find out it's tonight at a come back. <laughs> Let's make it a comeback. Low key voice. Hey, I just want to take a moment and uh, thank you, Dan and Pete, for being on our podcast. Hey, you're welcome. We are happy uh, to have you on here. It's uh, kind of a pleasure. It. Our podcast. Yeah, you guys have been whining, complaining, and asking to be on for a long time. So finally, we, me and Keith were like, you know, let's throw them a bone. Let's break down. We'll have them on. So welcome. Yeah, I feel don't make extra us regret privileged. it. Privileged. Uh, so now is a good a time as any to let y'all know that i'm starting my own podcast oh and keith don't know it yet but i'm gonna have him him join me because we <laughs> both have glasses and i figured it would be okay oh, oh yeah glasses. that's a Wood natural workers. well you gonna you're gonna have keith Four on Eyes your podcast? podcast then i'm gonna start my own podcast and i'm gonna have my friend jay cats on mine oh i'm just gonna do a solo show yeah. <laughs> no, Pete, you and I can do one too. Yeah. No, well, you and Dan should should call your podcast Four Eyes Podcasting. Or Four oh. Eyes Podcast. Yeah. I think yeah. it's Four real... Eyes Podcast about furniture. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. That's classic. Yeah. You know what else is classic and nice, Dan? Our patrons are there always classic and wow, nice. Wow, what a yeah. segue. And I want yeah. to thank our patrons. We've got some new ones. We've got Tom W. Um, Let him go first. Steiner six six nine four. I, I feel like he Mike was just waiting Jacobs. for that moment. We got Eagers Mitzvus. That's a weird name. We got uh, Don Richardson at Chiefs Woodworks. Uh, he probably oh, I just changed that since the Super Bowl. It was probably, probably. 49ers, 49ers Woodworks. Forty Niners Woodworks. Uh, he just changed it. What a bandwagon! Uh, Luke Callahan, Graham von Swearingen. Are you, Luke, is that Luke Callahan from Callahan uh, Auto? Auto. Do they do the yeah. brake pads. <laughs> Could sell a uh, ketchup popsicle to a woman in a white dress. Uh, we got Graham uh, van Swergen. Uh, I feel Sean. like you're just making up names, dude. No, they mm. make them up. I don't. No, even they have. They're very names. silly names. I actually listen to their show. Sean at Thompson Wood Design. Mike Wallace. That's a good, you know, wholesome Mike American. Mike Wallace, the only man to ever make me moist. We got Matt. <laughs> Matt Fricks. That's oh, really Fricks. what it says. At 13 Knots Woodcraft. So thanks to those uh, new patrons. And then, yeah, we might shout out the oh, returning ones at let the me, end of the podcast. Uh, let me shout out all our new patrons. Oh, <clears> were you <throat> talking? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, I gotta, we don't I have give any, him, we don't give have him props, though. Give him props, though. He, he was ready with the patrons, though. I was ready. <laughs> And Jason was more readier. <laughs> ready. uh, we don't have any new patrons this week, but <laughs> <laughs> I I do want to shout out due to returning, our, so it also sounds impressive. Top tier patrons, you okay, know, good. they're the real VIPs of this situation. And I had that list pulled up, and then I was messing around, and I changed some buttons and it's some settings. Ready. And 
He's definitely really uh, not stalling. I just want you guys to know that he's not stalling. Yeah, no, I'm not stalling. I know. I know. He wanted to tell you that the I'm a real good podcast patrons are Brandon Remy. We got Chris Hulett. <laughs> Stop it. No, Kenny no, Durbin, no. Jamie I will Gosney, mute you. <laughs> Joe Walsh, Sean McDonald, Bob Stunts, Paul. I did mute him. Okay, go. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh. Uh, uh, let's talk about the oh, real top tier. Oh, page. <laughs> that is uh, Charlie Coons of Stubby K Studio, Justin Frazier from Frazier Canyon Woodworking, Jesse McIntyre of Sage Hill Woodcraft, Gillette Woodworks, Victor Aragama, another woodshop patron from Nick <laughs> Brim Woodworking, Matt Maynard of Patriotic Pines, Bill Burkle from WTB Woodworking, Malcolm oh, at Boston Nova Woodworks, Justin from Calvary Customs, Patrick Ginsel. Scott Shirt from Red Leg Custom Woodworks, Max and Minnie Coons from Stubby K Studios, and Load on Her Back. <laughs> it's Loden Herbeck. Oh, Loden. Loden Herbeck. Sorry, Mary. Herbeck. Uh, I don't know where they're from, <laughs> but apparently they've been a patron since August of 2020. So wow. thank you, Loden. I didn't know you guys have been around Loden. that long. Yeah, yeah, we've been we've been doing this for a while, like at least 190 something episodes. Actually, it's when did you guys us. get started? It's quality, not quantity. It was definitely after us. I mean, I feel like they copied us. <laughs> so, well, you, you guys know. do weekly. We do bi-weekly ish. So, you know, if we did your schedule, we'd be have the we same. 140. Numbers. No, 180. Yeah, yeah. It'd be neck and neck. Oh yeah, we're not we're we're close. Are you counting? Are you counting uh, before Kraft died or after Kraft died? <laughs> no, after Kraft died. After okay. Nick died. No, I mean after <laughs> Nick didn't die. We, I think we were at wow. What what have we done? Twenty something since since his departure? Because I think we were at seventy three and now we're at ninety something. Ninety five. Yeah, yeah. We're getting up there. We're almost to the big one hundred. Ooh, oh that's yeah, a wait, you, oh, yes, you we special, do. Special, something special planned? Yep. Oh, we, we do. Well, giveaways. it's unfortunate that you guys are on our podcast now because we were actually thinking for our hundredth episode, it would have been really awesome to have you listen to who we had on that podcast. <laughs> you're. So, I can't wait. You're so generous. It's great. <laughs> mm-hmm. Awesome. He's got a big heart. You, this guy. you should craft. Uh, have craft. Will never die on on your. Oh, so look, Blake back. <laughs> yeah, oh, that would be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Or we could play the the lost episode you guys never broadcasted. With, yes. where you guys were like super oh, yeah. drunk yeah, with the Jackman. Lost episode was it Jackman? Paul Jackman. Or yeah, Jackman. Yes, I've heard many wonderful tales about that episode. I want. Yeah, to hear. where Paul just got really vault. drunk and made it. Really that is awkward. something that Paul would do. He's the worst. Yeah. yeah. Wait, he wow. made it awkward. He just wasn't awkward from like from the start. He made it more, more awkward. awkward. <laughs> more, more awkward. Yeah. Okay. More I awkward. Hear this. Oh, it's somewhere in a crate in a warehouse. Like the, next to the, 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 right underneath the, the lost uh, Ark of the Covenant. Yeah. Yeah. Classified the covenant. sticker on it. <laughs> but when, like, so you guys got, for, first of all, if uh, you've never, if you're listening to this and you're like, who are these two people? You're an idiot. Hmm. No, I so Pete and Dan, you should know. Yeah. But if you're listening to like, <laughs> and you're listening to other people's podcasts and you're like, who's Pete and Dan? Then you're like, you're probably, you're, you're one of us. Yeah. You're missing just, out. Yeah. Up and coming not, accounts. I mean, you might be missing out a tiny bit, but not a whole lot. Yeah, it's basically, yeah. Not you're listening to, be to like, shop sounds, and then you're listening to another wood shop. Podcast. White noise. If, if you're really ever like, white noise. you know, white shop sounds is like it's too good a quality. It's too good of a. We're, we're the what soft cream back. noise of podcasts. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're the Costco we're, of podcasts. We're the, the Cialis to their of... Viagra. That's better. oh. Them's fighting words, Jason. We're not the Rehovia <laughs> podcast. Come on, at least let us be like oh. the Hercules. Meanwhile, Hercules Jason's the green sign. The Chicago Jason's Electric. Bourbon <laughs> signs. Chicago <laughs> Electric. <laughs> uh, that reminds mm. me, I need to go to Harbor Freight. Right now? No, Can I you think wait? they're closed now. All right. I- I'll wait. Well, you're in a different <laughs> time zone. You don't have a 24 hour Harbor Freight by you? <laughs> yeah, right next to Planet Fitness. They're in the same, <laughs> they open 24 hours. Uh, I'm going to go do some pull ups and get some uh, clamps. Yeah. And some microfiber cloths. Grab me some gloves. Mm. I'm running mm, low on where, nitrile oh, gloves. Harbor Freight. That's where I get all my sandpaper these days. Yeah. Oh, my I, God. What? So Dude, you're there every I'm day you. refilling? <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't get sandpaper from Harbor Freight? Wow. No. Okay. I didn't even, I wasn't Pro even aware tip. they had it. They do actually. I don't trust that. I don't really. 
I think I it's the same paper that DeWalt and Milwaukee sell. Freight, though. It doubles as toilet paper. It's whatever comes <laughs> free with a tool. The same paper. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I actually, I went to a very magical place this week, and it was the Costco Business Center. And the Bro. hype is real. You ever heard you of that one place? near you? Yeah, there's no. one. Well, not near me. It was. I want to go there just to the buy meats and such. It's you can Wait, get is, an entire. What's so, the difference between that and regular Costco? You so could buy Costco, more bulk. Mm. You know how you get the bulk, and Keith, you'll relate to this. Anytime you get a thing of seltzer, it's like, you know, three flavors. There's always like sixty of the lime, and then like five yeah. of the other flavors, right? Because they just want you to have the crappy ones. Or you get a assortment thing of chips, and you always get like ten of like some trash chip, and then a mixture of the good ones. You can actually just buy bo- a box of like forty six, fifty, whatever of the of whatever flavor you want like it's it's meant for like bulk stuff but they also have for some reason an entire lamb or like a pig too like you can just buy a whole and a whole pig there for are a lot of businesses frozen, frozen, that are not alive. seeking these things yeah you, you have know, to be a business owner to get in there you don't you just regular costco membership so we ended up getting a couple of things but then you walk in you know where usually in a regular costco there's like tvs and you got your playstations your gopros whatever deep fryer sailboats like no like full like 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 commercial appliances crazy commercial stuff kitchens commercial okay. kitchen stuff. Pete so- walked out with a stove and a pig under the other Listen, arm that, <laughs> the deep fryer double deep fryer was only 9.99 so there's this oh, there's this dude i follow on commercial grade called meat dad that's his that's his handle go follow him wow and you're he's all weird tiktok <laughs> yeah i mean <laughs> your it's, it's all mine. it's all Sorry, smoking Mary. meats and thoughts uh yeah. but <laughs> i follow this guy he, so just, his name is meat dad friend. and he goes <laughs> to the costco business center all the time and, and buys meat in bulk and that walk-in freezer looks divine like you can go buy like a whole side of a cow yeah I'm, it's uh, i'm so jealous which side, the left or the right? Um, I I really think it's up to how you're feeling that day. I don't know, I'm a left Twix guy, so I'm, I would go left side as well for the meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely tastes better. Yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> I, want, I want to buy all no, my meat in bulk. I mean, don't you have a bulk place by you? I mean, you, you must have like a butcher that? in Nebraska. Yeah, you must be able to just go down and pick out the cow you want to slaughter. You can actually. That's that's a thing that you can do. You could just go down the street and go like, I want Betsy there. Oh, that's it for so you sad. I want to name but her, it's and then I want you to butcher her. Yeah. <laughs> Don't what tell do me your name. I just... Corn fed or grass fed? Corn fed. This is oh, Nebraska, no. after all. That's un- that's unfortunate. Mm. What's the difference? How would you know? Grass fed cows are happier. They're out in the field. They're and then you murder the them. <laughs> oh, they, they are so happy. You're fed. gonna die. I mean, but at least they don't die the... with digestive problems like the corn <laughs> eaters do. Don't they feed Wagyu beef with like beer? Like they just they get I think they us. give it butter and they massage them. Oh, yeah, right, they do. And then they kill them. See, it's and just they <laughs> yeah. That's a, Can't that's they a find a way to, to to get meat but yet keep them alive? You, you know, know, it's funny. I had this conversation with my wife earlier today about like animals and you know, being nice to them and I was talking about some people believe in reincarnation, right? So when you die, you come back sometimes as an animal. And that's why some of these people are like, you should never step on a spider, for example, because that could be, it could be Steve, my great aunt Aunt Stacy or whatever. Then my question is, if you believe in reincarnation, then if I step on aunt Stacy in spider form, isn't she going to come back and probably is something better than a spider. So aren't I doing her a favor by killing her in this life? So she can come back as like at least a cockroach. What if she comes back as a chicken that's grown up on a farm in a cage? I mean, I'm getting teary. She gets another chance after that, after she dies on the farm, then maybe she'll come back. Is is it infinite chances or is there like a lie? I don't know. I don't understand. And what's Um, worse dying quickly or like having to live out the life and like go to a job of a bug. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. I don't know because going to corporate and like talking to Su- like listening to Susan talk about her weekend and her cats. Our like, cats maybe. Who leaves Susan out of this? Right? I don't know. Maybe you know what? I will take being like a girl in like rural China. Like that's quicker. Quicker. Wait, path. what? Oh, that, that got weird. Oh, wait, really? That's the weird. That's the weird part. That's the line right there. <laughs> the <Sorry>, line. <laughs> Sorry, all right, all right, right. <laughs> Because you know, they want boys, uh, hey, well, this is a woodworking podcast. Woof, yeah, what is it we actually do here? We didn't really bring a plan this week. This is because... a podcast about nothing, 
You guys, yeah, we're that's our type weird. of podcast. I thought Keith was going to the itinerary. <laughs> yeah, this is our itinerary. Keith, what's next? Go with the flow. Go with oh, the yeah. flow. Whose podcast is, is this? I mean, Ours. whose schedule are Yours. we following? It depends. Is... If it's starting to lag and not sound very good, I'm totally willing to say we're on your Yeah, podcast. we're not even going to yeah. put this one oh, out. Oh, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. No, that's what we but do. If it's a great week, episode, I'm happy to host you guys. We'll just call it Sawdust Talk and whatever. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Brain's going to be mad. Yeah. Well, why don't we do a quick uh, what's on the bench? Um, oh. mainly, I, I hear about Keith's stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of curious uh, what Jason's up to because he's been tearing apart a house. Mm -hmm. He nearly but... died the other day from what I uh, understand. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so uh, you might have seen in a couple of videos ago, we bought this, the uh, I don't know what you call it, income property, vacation rental. We're going to turn it into Tax an Airbnb. Tax write-off. Tax write-off. Sure. Cabin in the Tax woods. Tax shelter. Cabin in <laughs> the woods. It's rough making all that YouTube money. Oh, um, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> so was it actually like you just kind of ran out of projects in the house and you wanted another place to work on or yeah it's kind of i mean it, it's it? part that part my wife has always kind of dreamed about having a place over where we bought so there was that too that's nice and yeah we found this place it was built in 1976 it's a total dump it hasn't been updated since 1976 uh so we went over there i went over there this weekend to start ripping it apart i had uh craig and then uh, two buddies flew up to help me out, and we just did demo all week. It was, it was hard. I'm uh, I've done demo before, but it's one of those things where it's been such a long time you forget why you don't do that regularly <laughs> until you start doing it, and then you instantly remember like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, this, this is, is a awful. bad that's idea. Right. Yeah, that's me. Anytime stupid. I paint, I'm like, that's why I did not paint the house. Yeah. Can can relate with that too. Yeah. Well, they say like the best mountain climbers that do like uh, like Everest and things like that have the worst memories because it's so horrible and miserable when they're actually doing it that you'd have to have a terrible memory to That's ever want to do it again. Bad. Yeah, um, I think demo is the same because man, it is hard work. We did the entire house in three days: flooring, cabinets, trim, Oof. everything gutted. Uh, found some interesting stuff. I realized that this house had to have been tiny when it was first built, like one bedroom, one bathroom, little kitchen area, because every wall we tore into to try and tear down had exterior half inch plywood on one side of it. It had like <laughs> flashing in the corners. So they were all exterior walls at some point, which is weird. Um, yeah, I almost killed myself cutting that fiberglass shower out because I cut it just in half with a sawzall. Dude, when I saw that. It. Oh my God. It was just, it wasn't even running through the studs. No, there's just, just dangling. wiring dangling <laughs> in midair. And not just like 120. There was 220 back there. I mean, the ground for the house, just the regular copper like wire was back there. I don't know were, how I didn't hit any of it. Were they all live too? Had you cut oh, any yeah. power? Or? Well, what do you want to hear? <laughs> I hear that you didn't cut the power because it makes it. Uh, I would say half of it was probably like we had cut power to like strategic places that we knew we were dealing with electrical stuff. I just never dreamed that there would be that much electrical back there behind a shower. Yeah. Dude, I don't know if you saw the video. This is the equivalent oh, of like. I saw it. I saw it. Like to anyone that didn't see, it's like throwing a wire behind a cabinet like or like a, like a shelf or something. Just like throw it behind it, stacked behind the shower. It wasn't running through studs. I've never actually seen anything like that going through a house. No, I have not either. I mean, that's all going to have to be rerun. And it was weird because there was holes drilled through the studs as if they had planned to run it through the studs. <laughs> and then at the last minute, we're like, we yeah, forgot. It's fine. To the shower. <laughs> and then on top of that, um, the insulation in that wall had been completely shredded. So there's a pretty good size hole around the drain coming up from the crawl space. I'm pretty positive a squirrel had been able to get up in there, shredded all the insulation into just like tiny pieces. And then, you know, the fiberglass inserts, there's like a void at the front of the tub that you step over to like get in the tub. It's like hollow in there. Mm -hmm. That was completely just packed with pine cones. There must have been 200, <laughs> 300 pine cones. He's hoarding pine cones. Thing. What is he doing? Yeah, so pine cones, shredded insulation, wires everywhere. It was Jason wild. and I talked about this a little bit pre-pre-show and 
I theorize that that's what the homeowner used to save on insulation cost. <laughs> just pine cones. Pine cones. Yeah, Dad Hire doesn't a, think it was a squirrel. a squirrel. He thinks it was a money saving attack. Yeah, I mean, it, they're readily available in that yard, right? So, but can not? you imagine like taking a nice, relaxing bath in there and then hearing this squirrel like <laughs> hauling pine cones around in the tub that you're like soaking, <laughs> scratching around? Although I feel like if you live in a woods, you're used to some like wall wall sounds. Yeah. yeah. What's the what's the R rating of pine cones anyway? Like the, oh, be the insulation oh, point point five. <laughs> yeah. Can't be. Well, great. then while we were over there, it took us three days to do it. On day one and a half, it started snowing, and uh, it didn't stop. It snowed like a foot and a half in a you know twenty four hour period. So we got Jeez. dumped on, and we had a dumpster there to like throw everything in. And at one point, we ran out of room in the dumpster and had to have it picked up. And they charge by the weight. And I'm thinking, am I going to pay for all this snow in the dumpster now that's <laughs> sitting in there? No, they run it through a heater first. Was it, uh, oh, was it yeah. light, fluffy snow or was it they, heavy, they wet put snow? A, no, it was a heavy, wet They do a snow stuff. tear. That's bull, man. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. Honestly, the part that like blew me away was that faux lamb beam that was in there. You had this whole fake wall. And like lamb beams are not cheap nowadays. So I don't know. No, like, they, no. they, back then, maybe they were cheaper, but... That was probably it's an expensive so weird, thing to though, just add on for nothing. All you can do is guess, like, what was going on. You have no clue. I would love a time machine to go back and see, like, mm -hmm. what the house looked like originally and how they added stuff on. Because, yeah, that lamb bean was doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. The only thing I can think is those same lamb beams are on the ceiling in the garage, which I know was an addition. And I'm thinking maybe they bumped that out at the same time and just had like a leftover material and decided to throw it up there. <laughs> yeah, throw it but up it there. Wasn't, it wasn't structural. I mean, it wasn't supporting anything vertically. It had like a framed in wall above it. And we tested, I mean, the way that I've done it in the past, I don't know if it's right or not, to see if a wall is kind of structural when you don't know is you just start taking out the vertical supports until you get down to like the last one or two. And then you get a Sawzall and you start just slowly cutting through it and if it pinches the blade then yeah. you know like it's that seems transferring like a, load then you put everything back <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah i mean it doesn't seem like the greatest it's way actually to test it sounds sketchy but it's actually a pretty safe way to do it if you hire um, an engineer it's so expensive because that's what they do it, that's exactly yeah. what yeah they do. yeah, yeah. Exactly. they just come with a sawzall <laughs> Step so aside. we did it that way, didn't pinch the blade at all, cut right through it, could wiggle it back and forth on top of the cut, no issue there. And then um, the only other thought I had was that it was like some sort of collar tie, like it was kind of helping the walls stay in from splaying out. But that couldn't have been the case because that beam was literally held down on either end with one toenailed nail on each <laughs> side. Like, that's it. <laughs> Um, and then it was sitting on top of a post. So it wasn't holding anything left to right. So we ripped it down and nothing happened. So it didn't I, fall down. I watched the video you released, the, the first video of like the walkthrough. And yeah. I audibly laughed when there was that door underneath the stair and like the, the stairs like cut like a 45 degree angle off of one of the corners yeah. of the door. That, so that was the first I, clue that that was like an addition because like, yeah. there was no second floor. No, absolutely. I think that that was added on to those two rooms were added on. So I don't know. And then when it, we took the to glue be. lamp down, so like it was in the wall kind of sitting on top of like a post in the stud wall. When we took it down, obviously there used to be a beam there that matched all the other beams in the ceiling that they just cut off to put that glue lamp in because it was like the stub of the beam was just gnarled and cut in that wall. It's weird, man. Wild stuff. Are you going to try to match the beam to that? Yeah, we'll get another rough on one. We're going to paint the whole ceiling, so it shouldn't be too obvious. I got I to gotta be honest, man. That was a whole clown car of problems. So you had the the one bedroom with the bump out for the, what is the garage, right? And then you had the it's weird... The master bedroom, yeah. Yeah, you had the weird bump out in the hallway that turned out to be a shower on the other side that you can't move because then it makes yeah, the forgot walkway about that bump shorter. Out. Like, it, there's so many weird things. Like, you move one oh. thing and you F up another room. I know. It's it like is... a butterfly effect of terribleness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We you did decide to thing. get rid of the bump out in the bonus room. That's just that weird box in the middle of the room. Yeah. Right. And we're going to put that back into the primary bedroom um, and it, the ceiling will just be a little lower. But I think it's not even going to be that low. I mean, when I say lower, the ceiling's going to be like nine feet in there in that one spot. 
And I think that's way less weird than going upstairs and there's just this giant box in the middle of the room. Yeah. yeah. So that's going to take not, a little engineering to figure out. But That's not a tiny box. I mean, that seemed like it was taking up a third of that room. It was. A... Oh, yeah. No, the room would be twice the size getting rid of that for sure. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. That's so nice. I think now that it's all cleaned out, we got rid of all the nasty carpet and the old showers and the Formica countertops. I can start to see like, I think it'll be cool when it's all done. Hell yeah, what, it's gonna look awesome. How long are you anticipating all this to to last? Or is it gonna be like a year, two year project? Oh, uh, I would like it if it was done around this time next year. I mean, ideally, I would love if it was like ready for Christmas next year. But I also like me and my wife agreed when we bought this that we weren't gonna put a strict schedule on it. I just don't want the stress of that. So it'll right. be done when it's done. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> At least cool, it's cool. uh it's fairly new on the outside, so you don't really have to touch that. Yeah, outside's great. Um we are gonna we decided we're gonna replace all the windows, so that's gonna be kind of a big undertaking, but now's the time to do it. So I just got window quotes last month, so I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No joke, man. For a bunch windows of pieces are of glass, like yeah. I feel like I can and just pour some squares of epoxy. It'd be way cheaper. <laughs> I, one, there's one the... a great video idea for you, frankly. Just make, make your own, make your own can you get can you get flex tape in clear <laughs> <laughs> clear flex tape perfect we got to stabilize it so it's dead flat like a pane of glass yeah yeah, yeah, yeah use that idea. shrink plat when we were kids the, the our house had such leaky windows that you'd buy that plastic that had double-sided yes, tape and put it over yes. and then with a hair dryer you dry it and it would shrink and create like a vapor barrier or yeah just do barrier. that jason be mm -hmm. oh yeah one thing that uh did happen while we were doing demo so my friend casey was up and we were demoing the kitchen <clears throat> we ripped out the island and then we we're going to start ripping out the main counter area and there's the kitchen sink in there so he was going to unhook all the water lines and everything under there so that we could rip the sink out and me and craig were outside throwing stuff in the dumpster and we like the dumpster wasn't very full yet so we had the doors on the end of it open and we were walking into the dumpster to dump stuff and as i stepped out of the dumpster the door moved and it kind of like creaked and as it creaked i was like man that dumpster sounds like somebody screaming like a man <laughs> screaming that's so weird oh no and so then like we're walking in the house we're talking and i hear it again and this time the dumpster's not moving and i realize it's my friend casey in the house like screaming at the top of his lungs jason jason so we run in the house apparently the valve under the sink for the hot water was broken so he couldn't shut it off but he thought it was shut off because he turned it and then he unhooked the sink and hot water is spraying <laughs> everywhere oh my just god unloading <laughs> under the sink so he's like turn the water the house off because now it's like he can't turn it off it won't like go the other way he can't get the thing threaded on there because it's under pressure water shooting out's hot water so i run outside in hindsight if you're ever doing demo go find the water shut off to the house first turn before off. you start anything because <laughs> i'm running around blind i have no clue where the water shut off to the house is we never found the water shut off to the house. He just like pushed the sink fitting back on so hard that he was able to tighten it on under pressure, but he burnt his hand pretty bad doing it. Oh, ooh, I shouldn't be laughing. Shooting out everywhere. <laughs> I feel bad. Oh I mean, God. he was fine. He probably deserved it for something, you know, he did his other <laughs> life, whatever. So maybe um, add water shut off valve to the whole house to the list. But then I spent like half an hour mm -hmm. out there trying to find it. It didn't help that there was snow out there at that point, so you mm -hmm. can't find anything. So finally, I uh, I called the guy who did the home inspection, and thankfully he had pictures from when he did the home inspection. I was able to find it. But Was it outside? Yeah, it was outside under the back deck, like in a That's little That's a weird place for that. Yeah. You'd think it would freeze or something. Normally they're so. in the basement or on the lowest level, right? Well, we don't have there a, basement a basement in the house, okay, Dan? Mm -hmm. Gosh, it's not that... Well. Not that much money. Sorry. Yeah. Here, here in the Midwest, you have to have a basement. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like a million, a not a one point well, two million dollars. You don't have a place to hide yeah, from tornadoes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we got it all gutted. It's uh, ready to go the other direction now. So Fun this is times. Your third home now, right? Because the second one was on wheels. Is that one all done? <laughs> So that was actually, um, I took it over to Bend to get some final things finished, which is kind of where this house that we bought is. And I was supposed to pick it up on Thursday and bring it back with me because it's all ready to go. 
but we got so much snow over there. I don't want to try and drive that thing over the mountain pass and foot and a half of snow. You know, yeah, there's no tires end on that of the thing. video. Like it's almost done, and now it's rolling down in a ravine. Yeah, so I'll have to go get it once the you got, pass you got all year up. for the finale video. That's uh, yeah, it's fine. It's whatever. Let's leave them hanging. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. Right. Yeah. That's how you keep them coming back. Yeah. What are you guys working on, Dan? Uh, don't you you'll never guess. guess. Orders. Guys. You'll never guess. That's, That's the yours. orders. Yay. Uh, little end tables have been picking up, so that those have actually been keeping me busy. I got another order for one of my C tables that is going to Switzerland. I'm like huge in Switzerland, guys. I don't kind understand. Deal. Isn't that the home of IKEA? Or no, no that's the Netherlands. That's right? Sweden. 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 <laughs> There's an S in there. It's a little bit different. different. Yeah. 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 I mean, surely they have IKEA in Switzerland too, though, right? I mean, well, right? well, surely they have someone who could build a C table. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't just have that. I'm going to order one you. from this Nebraska guy. And pay a hundred and something dollars in shipping. They don't even know what a Nebraska is. Probably yeah. not. Mm. They're like, this is from the exotic land of Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> Where the corn flows like wine. <laughs> Pakistrami or whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Pastrana. Oh my Pastrana. God. <laughs> pastrami, like the salmon of cap of pastrami. Wait, Travis Pastrami, the the motorcycle yeah, that's the guy. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, the motorcycle guy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I haven't been working on anything exciting. I don't have a uh, a vacation property that I bought. Uh, I'm not making Jason Hibbs YouTube money yet, but soon. Says so the guy with four living rooms. Soon mm. and one house. Four living rooms and one three. house. Three. Pete <laughs> exaggerates. I only have three living rooms. How many kitchens um, do you have? One and a half. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. You're doing better than me. <laughs> one and a half. <laughs> do you count the the camp stove I have on the deck? That's my half. Yeah. Kitchen. Okay. Uh, yeah. Two and a half. All right. And then you got the water uh, spigot out there, so you really have running water and you can cook. Yeah. So that's and I got uh, I got I got the water main uh, shut off in my basement. So oh, oh, that's nice. That's a big deal. Wow, big that's deal. posh. Yeah, that's that's yeah. like <laughs> real. <laughs> It's real posh. Oh, so, uh, that's how you know you've made it when the water mm -hmm. shot off is in the house. I will say that I, I'm going to be doing a lot more laser content here pretty soon. I've oh, officially... God, me too. Another guy. Like I'm laser light shows, like Pink Floyd. Yeah, yeah. Like a rave <laughs> in my shop. It's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be... I can't do the rave sound. It's just... Uh, we'll play Sandstorm <laughs> there, over there the clip. <laughs> the Rude. Um... Yeah, I, I, I've signed a, a little contract with a, a laser company. So You had to sign a contract? Yeah, they're sending me a laser. A big one. Contracts are for Does it start with an X or a thunder? It starts with a thunder. Or an O. <laughs> starts with a laser thunder. Laser starts with an L. What are you talking oh. about? <laughs> Idiot Nebraska school system strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I reached out to him and I was like, hey, that new laser you guys are uh, pipping out. That's pretty nice. I'd like to have one. They're like, mm. we can make that well, work. Well, you just so. uh, add it to your cart and pay for it and we'll be happy to send it to you. <laughs> wow. yeah. For two YouTube videos and... <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to have to yeah. I'm gonna have to make some YouTube videos too, so... Oh, you are doing YouTube videos? Yeah. Right. <laughs> one. One. Sold your one. soul. Yeah, one. Just one. Okay. An unboxing? I always feel uh, like... No, I think they want a review. Uh, I feel like real woodworkers reach out to companies that like can benefit like their workflow. Like people want lasers or CNCs. The companies I reach out to are like bourbon companies. I'm like, hey, <laughs> well, they help your workflow. Could really I, use some. They help liquor. you forget the demo. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite at the bourbon well, uh, he, he, level no, yet. He reaches out to bourbon companies. Well, they never. He, reach he doesn't work with them exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's the key. Oh, he just yeah. has the, I didn't catch it. Me. There's some disconnect where like liquor companies are like, but you're a woodworker. You're working with machinery. We don't want our name associated with drinking and operating a table saw. And I'm like, yeah, you guys are. You're bored. Name's bourbon moth. We make yeah. vodka, and we don't think that's gonna vibe. All right, I got caramel coloring. Nobody will know. <laughs> uh, yeah, Keith, what are you up to? My life is not that exciting. I'm building this tiger maple bathroom cabinet that's been, which the construction of it is done. The stressful part has been figuring out what to do for the finish because I don't work with figured woods. 
and tiger maple like really requires a certain look to it to give it that tiger maple pop and i thought you had a an exclusive contract with walnut I <laughs> i'm cheating yeah i had based on off cuts he leaves at my shop use? walnutty walnut mm -hmm. <laughs> Hashtag Walnutty. He does a lot of white oak, guys. Don't, oh, don't yeah, white oak. That's don't right. don't forget about that. What was that video oak. you sent? Uh, what was the thing you fucked up this week? That, well, yeah, that's right. Here is what I... Um, so I was cutting the notches in the bottom of the drawers that I made <laughs> yes. for the undermount slides. And I've said this in my videos and I do it to myself, wherever you're going to make a cut or a dado, like just pencil, right? Like when I'm cutting grooves and drawer sides, like I draw a pencil line so I know that I'm on the right side and in the right orientation. So I did it on every drawer except for this one. And I <laughs> cut the groove in the bottom and I looked at it. And I said, why is there a domino there? Because <laughs> oh. I, <laughs> I cut it in the top. And not only that, like it tore out like crazy at the back of the cut, which is the inside of the drawer. So, but this could be one of my greatest fixes ever. I will say I when you thing. sent me well, the fix video, I literally could not tell. Neither could I. That was nice. So I, mean, I can tell <laughs> <laughs> because you told me. <laughs> I mean, you can definitely tell because the grain kind of goes the other way, but it's, it's way better than like putting in a, uh, I mean, what I did was like, I cut out, I put on the table saw, raised the blade up and made a cut the full length of the back of the drawer and then used a handsaw to cut that piece out. And then that didn't give me a great cut. So I made a template for my router and used a flush trim bit or a pattern bit and cut a perfect straight line down the back of the drawer and the two sides, cleaned up the corners with a chisel. And then I had just happened to have another piece that matched the grain and I glued that in there. So it's... It's pretty seamless. Are we still talking um, about the tiger maple? Yeah. So you were but able to match the well. The drawers are just maple, what? right? Well, the drawers are unfigured. -ish. I mean, they're figured-ish, but they're the uh, least of the figure because they're, figure. The drawer box. They're like yeah. a house cat maple. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> they're kitten maple. Domestic short hair maple. <laughs> <laughs> they're like a Daniel tiger maple. <laughs> What are the hairless cats? The the sphinx, sphinx, sphinx maple, sphinx maple. Is that what they're called? I don't know. I thought, huh? called. I thought they're just Mexican sounds hairless. Good. I thought it was oh, that like an Egyptian racist. thing. I thought it was sphinx, not Mexican. I thought they were Doctor Evil's cat. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, we Kitty? all thought wrong. Our, right, I'll um, look it up. You guys continue talking. Our friend had a cat like that named Raja, and one time we're at their house, and the cat fell off the windowsill, and if. Just imagine like a baby falling naked onto the hardwood floor. That's what it sounds like. It's a terrifying sound. Just flesh. No padding. Hitting, no padding, just hitting hardwood. It's uh, the like hairless cats. Uh, they're... Sphinx is correct. Sphinx, by the way. yeah. Oh, all right. I lose. That's okay. You can call them, Me what did you call them? Mexican taco cats? No, a Mexican hairless. <laughs> Maybe that's the dogs. Um, Mexican burrito. <laughs> but so funny, Jeff. <laughs> a gordita. <laughs> Today I had to go drive to Woodcraft to get some. Uh, Is that dye the stain. green rockler? <laughs> That's the green mm -hmm. rockler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well done. Good callback. <laughs> uh, so it's like an hour away, and I, I need more tiger maple too because I, I don't, I ran out. I need some for the moldings on the top of the bottom of the cabinet. So it's not much. I need like a couple of four footers. And I'm like, you know what? While I'm at Woodcraft getting that, I'll check. I know it's going to be way overpriced, their wood selection. But if they have what I need, it's worth it rather than running around trying to find some. So the first thing I do is I go to the back and and there's, they have three little one by four, three footers. So each Please board tell me is. That you had to wrestle it out of like some 65 year old. <laughs> I made him over the head with it. That's he was going to do pin blanks out of it. I'm he was going to make a cane out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I was making a walker for my wife. So each one is one board foot. It's the exact calculation one board foot. $35 each. $35 oh a board foot. Yeah, but think of okay. how many pens you could make out of that. It's worth it. <laughs> but, Dozens. Uh, you're you not sell gonna, one pen, yeah. 35 bucks, that everything else is profit. Yep. Boom. Right? If I set up my Etsy store, I can make some pens. Hey, I'll have to buy the green rockler pen kits. Stay, Stay in your, your lane, lane Johnson. <laughs> 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 so then I had to drive an hour and a half 
down to to Trenton and I got uh 10 board feet, so two 10 foot boards for $85. It's like eight eight dollars and fifty. Yeah, but how much foot. gas did you use? Hey, that's really irrelevant here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't care how much gas or time I spend, it's the deal that matters. You know, but I mean Temmy you might have figured maple. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> you can wait a, a lot month. cheaper. Yeah, I gotta wait a month <laughs> for it to come across in a container. That's so yeah, it was idea. a long I'm day. Be that up later. Well, the first place I was going to go for the maple is a place I've never been. I found it online. It was like a local lumber mill, and I said, "Oh, you know what? That's closer. It's like an hour away." So I called him. I said, "Do you have any tiger maple?" He goes, "Well, how much do you need?" And right then, I'm like, "Oh God, that means he doesn't have much." I said, "Just a couple boards, a couple four footers." He goes. Yeah, we, we should have what you need. And I'm like, red flag. That's just that. Yeah, exactly. That's just yeah. can I get you a go definitive out answer. Physically look at it. And yeah, could you send me pictures? It? So I'm like, that's a shorter distance than going all the way to Trenton to Willard Brothers. So I'll go there first. So I, I roll up to the address, dude. It's like somebody's house. And there's mm. no sign out front. There's not even a garage. I'm, I just kept going. I'm like, I'm not pulling in here. I'm going to go down to Willow. So an hour we later. You should have there. what you need. Come and yeah. find oh, out. Nice. Yeah, right. Bring your mm. kidneys. Here's your ball gag. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, it's right here in his basement. No, no, don't worry. <laughs> oh, is this where you keep your water shut off? You turn the light on at the bottom of the staircase. Mm, I got it. <laughs> it's motion activated. When you bend over, it turns on. <laughs> Show me your moon. It'll light up. <laughs> Sorry, Mary and Emma. Yeah. Sorry. Well, Sorry. So it was a long day driving around trying to find, but I got what I needed, hopefully. But yeah. That's so now good. I need to finish. Um, so I think I figured, I mean, if you guys had seen my reel, I, uh, my, our buddy Paul at Copper Pig turned me on to this. Well, he didn't turn me on, but he turned me on to this <laughs> technique. Paul turned me on a couple times. Podcast turning I'm down. currently turned on. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> I stand corrected. Dan's using um, performance enhancing drugs. <laughs> Isn't it funny to. that copper pig, he has two slang terms for police officer, copper and pig. Oh, pig. Yeah. oh. Huh. they cancel each other out though. So I guess good. so. Sorry. Oh, okay. So what's the finish? So the technique is you take iron nitrate solution and you put it on the maple and it turns black in like, when it dries in about 30 minutes, then you take a heat gun and you just apply heat to it and it turns red. Like it darkens up all the curl and it turns like that flame color, like reddish yellow. It's insane how cool. And then you just put a clear finish on top of that. Have you ever thought about just using curly or tiger or tiger redwood? Save some time. Cut out the middleman. Uh, I've yet to be able to find that. Leave okay. it to just Paul. Just have some chemical solution to finish. I know. <laughs> or curly cedar. Is that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like maple. <laughs> so so the problem is Is that like when you put like uh, steel wool and vinegar and you get Yeah, the, I mean it's a similar result. I mean it won't work. Or whatever. What yeah, is the not. reaction? Is it reacting with the tannins the same way? Or I don't know if maple has tannins. Maybe it'll react oh, to the sugars. I don't Maybe know. Maybe it's reacting to the syrup in there. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Sure. But I guess they use it for gun stocks because um, it creates. But the problem is, here's the big problem, okay. is the back panel of the cabinet and the door panel, I had to use uh, commercial veneer. And I veneered mm. plywood. Now, what we've kind of discovered after talking with Paul is it's taking that finish way differently. It's splotchy. It, and it's probably because the glue... Yeah, that I glued glue with has soaked into the pores yeah. and so it's not working. Oh. So what I had to, so now I'm going to have to use this. That's why I went to Woodcraft to get these different dye stains. And today I came up with a com combination that looks perfect. It looks just like the iron nitrate solution, but still the problem is I can't glue this cabinet together until I pre-finish or pre-stain everything. Cause I've otherwise you're like trying to stain in corners and you get dark yeah. and it's always mm. so yeah, I feel like I just can't make any progress until. So I have I a question. Finish. You Always. tried this nitrate solution, mm -hmm. and it works great on all on the solid. big panels, on all the solid stuff, but it wouldn't work on the plywood. So then you came up with a completely different solution to work on the plywood that matches the other one. 
wouldn't it be simpler just to use the solution that matches on everything? I am. I am. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to use that the iron not nitrate using anymore. The nitrate anymore. Okay, no. I got it. Makes yeah. sense. And that way with this well. with this sorry, yeah, with the water-based dye stand, I can spray it all. Oh, like I don't even have to apply yeah. it by hand. So I can spray it, get a nice even coat, and then cuz I have to put two different I have to put three layers of dye stain to get the color and then, and then geez, top that's coat. just the color so what are you putting for a clear coat shellac shellac i think or you're i'm gonna use general finishes no spray are you doing it you the, uh, can't, you pig way you're gonna dissolve that in some everclear yeah or nice. i may just use uh regular uh zinzer shellac wax free de-waxed shellac oh boy i have shellac flakes and the everclear um are we talking like um, actual Everclear? The, yeah. The, the oh, yeah. quote unquote drinkable That's stuff? what you cut it with? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Cause you yeah. gotta take the shellac flakes and you gotta dissolve them in alcohol. Right. That might be cheaper than buying like that equivalent of just alcohol. denatured alcohol. Denatured alcohol. <laughs> well, well Paul not, says he I goes think... into the liquor store like once a month and buys like multiple bottles of Everclear and they look at <laughs> yeah. it like he's some sort of alcoholic because he buys the cheap <laughs> stuff in the plastic jug. It's like 90% alcohol by volume. It's like as hard as you can I'm get. a copper and I'm a pig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the only – I mean, the good thing about using Everclear with the shellac flakes rather than denatured alcohol you get at Home Depot is it's completely non-toxic. You can spray it, breathe it in, and drink it, and it's yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah. Like you can I breathe the, app, the overspray. Good buzz. Non-toxic yeah. is a little loose. <laughs> Loosely, yes, yeah. very loose. loosely. <laughs> yes. I can imagine Pretty Dan sure going, going swilling around. Yeah, the and then he's raising his mouth. <laughs> it will affect your liver at some point. Mm. Yeah, for every two passes, you do one in the mouth. Hey, watch sure one squirt, stuck. one for my homies. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got to check the the solution level. Yeah, I stain mm -hmm. it with maple syrup, so it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's what's going on in my shop. Pete, Maybe I know I've been to your shop. So Sounds good. Yeah, you, Is it you like agave syrup and and everything. Huh? Yeah. Oh, well, somebody turned me on to uh, orange Jameson. Oh, <laughs> like, can't wait. Oh yeah. I've oh my god. That. So you got to bring it to WorkbenchCon. Oh, I'm bringing a bottle for you guys. Don't worry. That okay. and a bottle of uh, maybe two bottles. Water. Maybe two bottles. Did you know that Jameson is the yeah. number one whiskey producer in the entire world? Jameson. Yeah. Isn't that surprising? Yeah, I'm, kind of. I'm, yeah, I, is, is that like just the like the 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 middle benchmark for everyone? Like, that's just the no, one. That I mean, sells they just the produce most. an insane that amount works. of whiskey. They have at their distillery. It's almost like a like a skyscraper. That's their storehouse for their barrels. It's crazy. It's got all these like elevators and stuff. So they make the most, but they don't necessarily sell it all. That's okay. That's good to know. No, because they have to like age it for yeah, yeah. you know multiple years. They have to keep it on hand, and they distill so much whiskey that every three seconds on their property they lose an entire bottle of jameson to evaporation every three seconds tragic. that's crazy <laughs> it's tragic that is remarkably yeah. fascinating well and you read an article obviously you know right on usa no, I went today. there i was at the usa today. Today. the tour usa today dot tick tock <laughs> <laughs> right usa today feed on tiktok on tiktok <laughs> No, that we, we we talked about it in the pre-show how Jason doesn't use TikTok. He actually mm. reads articles. When we say we, when I say I re read it in an article or I, I read this in a paper, it just it means TikTok. it's a TikTok. It's a TikTok. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just don't want to sound like a a child. <laughs> I am a creature of habit. I have a very strict morning schedule where I wake up, I get a cup of coffee, I Oop. scroll through the USA Today app. No, not until after the cup of coffee. Oh, yeah, okay. you gotta drink the coffee first. Everybody I scroll through that. the USA Today app. I read all the, you know, like latest news. Um, some of that's depressing, so I skip over it. And then I always play Connections. Do you guys know what Connections is? My wife plays too. that. Yeah, I always play Connections. You can only play once a day. It's from the New York mm -hmm. Times. You got to connect these different words. Oh, it's like Wordle? Categories. It's kind yeah, of. I like better. it better than Wordle. Yeah, that's better. My wife does both of those, yes. Um, it's kind of like, do you ever play the, uh, the game Code Names? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of like that, yeah. It's kind of like that, but you play by yourself. You can play with yourself. Anyways. <laughs> best kind of game to play. Oh, yeah, well, the yeah, best kind of games you play with yourself. Um, and then I go to work, but it's like every morning. So I, I don't know. I do read articles, but... They're mostly I'm sad a, and depressing about how the world's falling apart. And I'm a little surprised. Everything. I'm a little surprised that you actually use an app for your USA Today consumption and not the actual paper. 
I don't know if you can get the actual paper. If you could, <laughs> I would 100% do that. I feel Flip like, like on those can. big wooden sticks, you just put it in your living room. You just <laughs> look through it. If I could get look at old articles. Paper. Yeah. I would love like the ritual of it. Seems really cool. And my fingers would be all black. It'd be awesome. There, yeah, there yeah. is something about reading a paper. Yeah, we still get like the township journal or whatever. And then you like, have all to the... put your glasses on the edge of your nose oh, like this. I <laughs> put on glasses just for it. And I put it real low so I can read over it because I can't read with the glasses on. <laughs> That's a whole look. <laughs> There's someone's prescription. They're not mine. <laughs> 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 uh but uh well what's going on in my shop i'm so engrossed in what you guys are doing the vanity bathroom vanity right ja, no but that, that's you you would... oh no yeah. i'm sorry yeah kitchen <laughs> island <laughs> Wait, you're doing it it looks just... like a bathroom vanity yeah seriously and uh, yeah so like keith somehow like we went from being strangers to like i see this guy more than i see emma perfect sometimes. strangers literally like we we're in each other's shops like once or twice a week uh, oh, you guys basically are the perfect strangers i mean pete could be balky yeah no, i always see stories together and yeah. i feel like keith's cheating on me with another podcast mm. it's okay it's okay <laughs> I, we joking or i jokingly say i'm his craig oh but, nice but on yeah because he does yeah he does some of my film work <laughs> yeah i don't so, have anybody you, i guess, I guess yeah, nick you brim could be my craig brim or brandon yeah. both of them yeah they're two craigs and egg <laughs> <laughs> What did you uh, send me the other day about the, the saying that Craig was coming to work for? Yeah, me? so like we're we both follow F1. So whenever there's F1 breaking news, they always put the F1 breaking across the top, and then there's a picture of who it is, and then what the news is below. So I took it and I said YouTube breaking news. I put Craig's face on there, and I said Craig Paulson joins Keith Johnson Custom Woodworking in 2025. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I broke the news. To I would quit. I would quit YouTube. I, I know. <laughs> so he traded mid-season, really? No, that's, yeah. Uh, well, oh. no, he's gonna fill, he's gonna fulfill his contract. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And then join me. Yeah. Well, we'll oh. see. Maybe he might be able to score a touchdown at the at the YouTube Bowl. Right in the Puppy Bowl. <laughs> well, the guy that won the uh, I don't know if you guys follow sports. I barely do, but the guy that scored a touchdown got traded from the Jets. So, like, that was the final touchdown that won the game. Oh, yeah, just really. like he was some guy to trade in midseason. So look, you, you never know. He I was tearing apart a wall divider during the Super Bowl, so I didn't get to see any <laughs> sports ball. There were some good commercials this year. I like. Listen, I'm trying to blend in with the Americans, so like no mm. one questions me. So mm. I talk about sports. So you don't get deported. Yeah, I paid a guy on Fiverr to write that last <laughs> line that I just said about sports. <laughs> Oh, but okay, so back back to what I'm working on. I'm working back to on the, the bathroom vanity. Yeah, to yeah, the bathroom kitchen vanity. <laughs> so we, I had this stupid idea, which is like it's basically just a store bought cabinet that you would usually put up against the wall. They slapped a, like a quarter inch backer on it, put a crappy you know for mica top on it, and that's the hey, it's a kitchen island. And that's how they sold the house. It's been there for twenty something years, twenty four years now, and I was it like, stood hey, the test of time, so it's not terrible. Yeah, there's like the they literally Isn't put like quarter round or not quarter round what's the opposite of quarter round when it goes the other way half round indented round, round. yeah indented, oh, cove, cove, round. Cove. cove round sure <laughs> it's, that goes around the other corner the real uh, question is is it packed with pine cones uh, <laughs> it's it's heavily not. insulated i mean when we initially pulled it out full filled with pine cones because we we're putting in the floor Weird. and i put it down no pine cones since so i sealed it mm. pretty well mm. But the thing was, like, I had this stupid idea. Now I'm thinking, like, so, so dumb. It would have just been faster to build a cabinet myself. But I was like, hey, what if I, like, shoot a YouTube video? Because I'm actually trying to get back into it of, like... Upcycle it. Upcycle this kitchen island. Or if you want to buy one from the store and, like, let me show you how to make it into a bigger island. So we got a uh, a big butcher block countertop. So we're going to have seating around, basically, like, an L shape around the island. Adding on a little uh, cabinet. I spent more time just taking out the back <laughs> and cutting to pieces to try to like re-support the island that's there then it took me to make the little addition onto mm. the side of it like it just making cabinets is not super hard it's very basic there's it's a, a box. guy here who's got uh, a video on how to make cabinets. yeah no yeah. Well, yeah actually no well, joke it really is that. just boxes and they it don't really, even have to be very good boxes. It's, I mean, it's, it's, all in the, it's all in the face frame. As long as your face like, frame is good, the box can be pretty I know crappy. Pete pretty well. They won't be good boxes. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa <laughs> wow. Whoa. Shots fired. So actually, I, to, to, to really 
a deep dive on this. Uh, I'm 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 always thinking of like the next thing. Like, well, all right, all right, down the line. No, no. See, there's it, your mistake. Never think ahead. <laughs> Live in the moment, man. But here's the thing. I'm going to reference in a video. Like, I'm just going to make the the drawers, or I'll make the the cabinets, and I'll just be like, yeah. If you want to learn more how to do whatever drawers or, or or cabinets, check out the video on the top right corner. For now, I was actually thinking I'll just link like Jason's or your video. And then later, video. later down the line, I'll just change it over to another link to yours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't have to say like, go see Jason's video and just be like, go check out <laughs> that one. Out <laughs> yeah, exactly. You should put out that link to the highest bidder. See who wants, um, <laughs> see who wants it <laughs> to be featured. Yeah. Who wants another uh, dozen views on their video? <laughs> oh, oh, oh man. man. <laughs> wow. wow. Attacked. <laughs> you know what? You got to start somewhere. I'm, I'm happy to do it. Yeah. I haven't released a video in a it's two fine. years, three years. I don't and think now you're gonna that pull the, out the slides at the end of the video even do anything. I always like put them up there, but I don't think anybody makes it to the oh, end of the video. I was thinking of the, the, the little them. like, you know, the text you get, you could throw like a little text at the top in the middle of the video. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't do that. You check that yeah, but then out. who's going to like people... leave that video in the middle of it to be like, yeah, oh, that's so bad for uh, retention, right. Right? retention. You're right. You're right. Screw the guys I Is mentioned. Is it bad for retention? I don't know. If they leave the video to go to another link. Well, then sure. Yeah. yeah. I always put it up there because uh, TubeBuddy, it's like one of their checklist things. Like, do oh, you have really? thing up there? They don't know what they're doing. Just links oh, back to the I same video. I think you're video. doing fine. I put all my faith in TubeBuddy. Can you have to make, sure can you make it to where? Seven out of nine. I know. <laughs> Did can you, you make it to where it, it opens Facebook? in a new tab and doesn't leave the yeah. actual tab? I wonder. Do that I instead. Think so. I don't think that we have that don't, actually I don't think leave. so. Well, next time I'm watching a YouTube video, if that pops up, I'm clicking that link. See what it does. See, my thought is they'll always be like, okay, well, after the video, after I've watched every second of it, then I'll go back to that one right. spot. Let me write this down. Let me write <laughs> that timestamp down. Everybody yeah. does that. Yeah. Show notes, at least, they'll, they might check that. So as long as they're not you know, asleep on a couch. So how close living. are you to getting this project wrapped up? I saw that the big uh, butcher block's done. You didn't make that butcher block yourself. Did no, you? we, we ended up just, honestly, for the money, I couldn't say no to just buying the, like, Oh, the yeah, butcher block Hamilton is bio. the worst. I've made butcher block once oh, yeah. in my life. It is the worst thing to make yourself. We did it twice. You we did have a shuffleboard like a, table. Oh, There's the shuffleboard reason... tables, yeah. <laughs> well, that wasn't even butcher block. I mean, like, legit butcher block out of small pieces all glued up, like... Yeah, like it's a horribly... tabletop's less work than a butcher block. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, way yeah. less work. So you know, we just we ended up finishing that. I uh, I took uh, Keith's advice. I I did general finishes on that. It ended up really nice. It's got like a baby cup in it, about an eighth of an inch, maybe. Well, it's uh... a good thing you're having a baby. <laughs> yeah, <it's> just... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you could but, just like... change his diaper right up there on the uh, island. Basically, I kind of like if I was doing this and I didn't care about video, or whatever, I would have just. Br put in brand new um brand new island in there with a the little extension i'm replacing all the cabinets with drawers anyways so i finally got the drawer slides in today i gotta measure those out and uh probably gonna yeah, have keith i've never yeah. done undermounts so i'm, I'm like you oh, use? did you use a bloom or ceviche uh bloom this uh, time yeah yeah nice. i'm not doesn't, uh, things are crap. doesn't the blue woodcraft have a have their they own do. bloom yeah. slides now but the timeline is like, I need this island in the kitchen before I leave for workbench gone. So I got two mm. weeks to put it in there. It'll be fine. Um, I need, I finally got everything basically ready for assembly. I got to uh, do basically some spray. I got to sand and spray tomorrow in the morning. And by the afternoon, I want to start spraying primer. So the inside mm. of the cabinet that I built the add on, it's actually going to be just like a cabinet, not a drawer. So I want to pre finish everything that's in there. And then uh, start spraying the the white primer on everything, and then go from there. Now I'm gonna have to spray again later down the line because like the side panels and the back panel have to get built too. With the, mm. like the you should style, really look whatever. into Sherwin Williams emerald urethane. It's the best mm -hmm. paint. That's what I have. That's what I got. Okay. Good. I got a I recommendation. Told him he was crazy. <laughs> the told best. Told gonna hate is. it. That flipping gun he's got is not gonna push it. Yeah, what so, uh, what gun do you have? Uh, the Graco X5? Oh, that's right. I forgot you bought the Graco. No, I bought okay. the Graco. Oh, no, it, I'm not. Good. I don't want to spray it through the Fuji because I, I started looking at stuff and they're like, oh, you got to thin it with this. And some people are it like, no, work. no, thin it with something else. I'm like, screw this. I'm keeping the general finishes in that. I'm just going to buy a paint sprayer. 
All you have to do with the Fuji, it's so simple. You pour some paint in the bottom of a little plastic thing. You go over to your faucet in your shop. You fill it up until it looks liquidy, and then you pour it in the Fuji. And <laughs> liquidy. <laughs> spray it on there. That's Very my, technical that's my terms method. here. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so I just try to get that stuff done, get it knocked out. Because uh, here's here's the thing. This island is a spray and finish test for the rest of the kitchen. Because Emma wants the rest of the kitchen done at some point. And mm. uh, we also want to do the the laundry room that kept getting postponed because of the windows. That well, at least now thing. that you're having a kid, you'll have plenty of time. Right. Well, that's the, that's the nice yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I get those magical three months off where I will just be in the shop the whole time. Right. Yeah, that's how it works. works. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 works. yeah. Honestly, yeah. newborns. Are yeah, they sleep. Easy. Yeah. yeah, you don't well, have to do anything. We'll see. And like, you don't have boobs that I'm aware of, so it's not like you can <laughs> feed her. So <laughs> I've, been, I've been putting on some weight, so I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> That was the bummer, like, I say bummer loosely because I'm in no way bummed that we yeah. adopted my son. But because we adopted my son, we had a formula feed him. And all of our friends were having babies at the same time. And the wives are all like, I have to get up in the middle of the night and feed the baby. And the husbands are like, it's great. I can't do anything. <laughs> oh, I wish wife, I could help, like, honey. I had to help. I had no excuse. I mean, so mm -hmm. we had to take turns and I had to get up half the time. It was horrible. Hey, it's it. Listen, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I know it's going to be a pain in the butt. There's a lot of downsides, but it's not like a downside. A lot of it's downsides. Just, oh, it's, it's great. Just, <laughs> you will you will love it. Sorry, it is, Emma. It is great. No, like like it, like the only thing is like you're just reappropriating time. Like it's not. Here's the thing: the four of us on this this call right here, this podcast, like yeah, this will be the last of, time. All of us are used to <laughs> like sinking like most of our life into a thing. Or things, mm -hmm. multiple things. So like, we're not people that are that. At least this is what I'm telling myself as a new new dad, right? Like, w I'm not going from like having no hobby to having a kid and being like, oh my god, it's so overwhelming. Like, we're already voluntarily overwhelmed by the things we love. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna yeah. pivot it into something else. So it's like, yeah, all right, yeah. well maybe a little less woodworking. And then mm -hmm. now that you know, like we have a kid, it's like great. It's just move. It's just reappropriating the the energy and the the stress and the 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 and sleepless nights or whatever plus i stay up till two anyways we, me and mr are kind of like ah, maybe i'll do the first shift you know if we do a bottle or whatever and, and then like yeah. you do the morning while i sleep in oh, we'll figure it out i love it i love listening mm. to parents you're before very they have optimistic kids, how they yes. have a plan no plan survives out. contact with the enemy right <laughs> <laughs> never, never let, the let me have the next five months okay we got it figured out i'll take the early shift she'll take the late shift I want let me buy the <laughs> It's I want to I want to live in this like virtual reality for five months, and then okay. the baby's gonna come here, and then I'll never do a podcast again. All the plans right, go yep. out the window. Uh, yeah. yeah, Dan, we might need to take a, at least a week off. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> so basically, I'll be looking for a new partner here pretty soon. No, just a no, fill, guest no. host, guest host. That's all you'll need. Hmm. You'll just do it like when Mike left. Like we just brought Keith on like six times, and then. Pete, uh, Paul, that? is my memory that bad? I don't remember. He was on like three times in like four months. Was <laughs> Maybe I don't know. He just he's like big personality. But I know Paul Jackson I was on. Mike a lot. was on this thing. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was on when Mike was on. I forgot about. It. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. This has been I a thing Mike, for a while. But I forgot he was on this. That's funny. You're right. It is better. Yeah, the, you said it. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Well, uh, we should. Well, that's that's all I'm working on. Just that island, and I'm actually trying to do a YouTube video. And thanks to Keith for uh, helping me kind of organize my thoughts. He's like, "Yeah, just every day, just offload that that video, put it into a folder, or put it into the timeline. Try to do a little bit of work, and I'm just chipping away at it. Yeah. And it's actually a lot more manageable because I usually would dump, you know, nine hours of video in there because I would just set up a camera and like not thinking about what I want to shoot, just mm -hmm. have it record for God knows how long." Now all the clips are like, you know, five seconds to two minutes. Yeah, that's the best. That's it's the a, biggest piece of advice easier. you could give anybody trying to do videos is you don't need long clips. Yeah. Nobody's going to watch 10 minutes of you sanding. Of sanding? No? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeah, quick Hey, clips. by the way, Keith, uh, we didn't talk about it yet because it was on our podcast last time, but that stool that I made... Remember, yeah. we were talking through the jig on the table saw, and I had the idea. It worked perfect. I saw, yeah, I saw the and I was having a hard time picturing what you were talking about. And then as soon as you sent me the video, I'm like, oh, yeah, duh. Uh, it was brilliant. 
Yeah, yeah. it worked. It worked really good. The only thing that I would have changed, and somebody had this suggestion, is I did the cove, and then I did the through tenons with the wedge, and then I like had to carve out the top of the uh, tenon with the router, and then hand sand them. And in hindsight, I would have done the cove afterwards. After I did like the stood tenon. the stool up on top, yeah, just put the stool it. on top and then the wedge goes down. Would have trimmed, <laughs> would have yeah. trimmed down the, the tenons and everything nice. at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Was saved a step, but it worked great. So for so those of you listeners that off. were wondering, <laughs> and then uh, Craig put a reel up there on Instagram, and Instagram loved that reel. It went, it went bonkers. So I'm sure cool. all the comments were positive and not at all. <laughs> Most of them were like, "That's dangerous. You're gonna yeah. kill yourself." <laughs> but it wasn't dangerous at all. Oh my god! It says yeah, the same YouTube. generation that YouTube, used to do plunge Instagram, cuts, TikTok <laughs> comments. They're all so great, so helpful. Listen, if they're if they're mad, you, you know you're doing it right. Doing it right. I'm <laughs> doing it right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I guess we, we should get into. We have a couple of questions still. Okay. And, uh, Let's do it. Oh, oh, my yeah, it's, it's getting late for uh, Jason. He, I know he's on the East Coast. It's like seven o'clock. I'm on the West Coast. It's West almost Coast, uh, West Coast. That's right. It's almost eight thirty over here. I'm tired. Uh, push pushing the or burning the midnight oil. Keith's the uh, one that goes to bed early. <laughs> yeah, I already started yawning, my usual. <laughs> I got you. Don't worry. We, we only have uh, 33 questions for you to answer. Oh, God. <laughs> oh Keith, Even before with two parts. completely off topic, remind me to send you a link to these new things I've been drinking. Sleep seltzers. What? Um, wait, wait, wait. No, questions can wait. Go yeah, on. Well... <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a mix of uh, magnesium and melatonin mm-hmm. Melat- and B THC? vitamins. That and reminds me. And like you, quaaludes for you like drink it, <laughs> You drink it before bed, and I kid you not, Propofol? these things knock me out so hard. It's great. You okay. said magnesium, and that reminded me of something. So a couple months ago, I bought some magnesium gummies off of Amazon. Okay. I always thought that magnesium was for energy. No. Oh, no. And it's not. It's and for peristalsis. Did you Google at all? <laughs> no, no, I just, you poop for some your reason pants, it was in my like... head that magnesium was for like energy. So I got some magnesium gummies because I've been having trouble like getting energized in the morning. And so I was taking them like regularly and I just couldn't get going. It was like even worse. And I, I would sleep. As soon as I drop my kids off at school, I'd come back home, sit on the couch, and before you know it, I'm out, and I'm sleeping until 1 p.m., which is, like, nuts, (laughs) right? (laughs) Yeah, it was awful. And so I'm watching TikTok, as one does, and I I come across this TikTok that says magnesium is a replacement for melatonin, and I was like, wait a minute. (laughs) Wrong thing. (laughs) What? (laughs) What? So yeah, I learned I learned the hard way that yeah, uh, no, I've been taking a sleep aid in the morning, and that's why I can't get up and and do work. Dan, yeah. do, do you your homework, just, kids. Yeah, do you ever bother to Google things? No. Mm. The, the, the best part is the bottle even says sleep aid on it, and I didn't even notice. Mm. Didn't even, uh... Re- readings for chumps. <laughs> and you're mixing this with the Cialis. <laughs> no, that's different. This this is a new uh-huh. this is a new experiment. <laughs> okay. So far, it's working great. This is a guy that went like, I, I, I'm taking three uh, vitamin D's a day, but my <laughs> still doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it says vitamin D in D. there. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> double D's. Uh, Sorry, Emma and Mary. <laughs> I All right, that hit one us at with least. the questions. <laughs> All right. First one's from Malcolm from Bossa Nova. Woodworks. Hey, guys. It's Malcolm oh, from Bossa Nova up. Woodworks. And this week, my question is for Keith and Jason. Ever since I've published the podcast Battle Reel on Instagram, all of the other podcasts involved have declared victory, even though we all know AWP clearly won. I've even had three other podcasts reaching out asking why they were not included. Podcasters are so thirsty, but (laughs) not a peep from Shop Sounds. So is it that you guys are just left speechless by my elite video editing skills, (laughs) or that you've humbly accepted your defeat in a very quiet PBS fashion? Okay, thanks. Bye. Comments, okay. please. So we talked about this in the live a little bit. I didn't even know this was a thing until Drew <laughs> Witt sent it in a group text to me and Keith. And I was busy working, and I opened it up and looked at it. 
and just replied like, oh, ha ha, funny. I thought Drew put this weird video together, this Anchorman thing. I didn't even know what was going on. So I'm new to the show. I'm sorry I didn't say a peep, but um, I don't, I didn't know what ha- was happening. <laughs> <laughs> so you Why accepted so your defeat. Okay. Accepted defeat. Like, I, yes, thought I, I thought I did comment on one of them because I had a bunch of people send it to me. I thought I did comment it, but maybe the comment I made was in reply to other people who sent it to me and not actually on the actual post. Um, I mean, Jerry was in it. Yeah, J- well, Jerry has show. finally made an appearance. <gasps> there he is. Jerry, Ooh. he's making biscuits. Oh Why is this camera so hot? Holy. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's mine warm? Um, oh, it is toasty. Yo, yeah. The Brio? Yeah. yeah. It's a 4K, <laughs> baby. Kept bringing the heat. So, I, you know, I don't know. There was so much going I, I There was just so much going on in that with so many people, so many podcasts. It was, it was pretty funny, though. But, if you haven't sorry, seen Malcolm, the video, yeah. you, go, just, you go check out Malcolm's video because uh, Drew Witt made an appearance in that. Right. He's not I'm on just the podcast, sorry I but gave he was Drew the fire. credit for it in the group text when he obviously didn't create it. So Malcolm, Drew should get credit for I'm anything. Sorry. No. Really? Yeah. Ever? No. <laughs> I don't. I don't know Ron Burgundy, but I'm going to take that to my grave. I feel like I'm, that's a badge. I'm of honor. a little bitter about it, but I'm also Good. happy that uh, that Toma made it on our team, which is great. Also, oh, that's right. <laughs> I love that uh, shop sound. Uh, not shop sound, Scott. Uh, Sawdust talk was Spanish Axis news or whatever. <laughs> like they were just. <laughs> Is it bright... sad that I know the movie, but I've never seen Anchorman? You watch it. This was uh, this was part two, though, like based on part two, right? The big fight scene is in part two, isn't it? No, I think it's in the first one, isn't it? I thought it was the first one. Is it the first one? I've never seen Jason, the movie. This I is the go most, watch like, it. It's this really is the good, most Jason. Jason Hibbs movie ever. You <laughs> should watch yeah. it. Okay, I will like, watch it. Dry humor, Will Ferrell, like beautiful, beautiful acting. <laughs> I mean, I've seen a Should've million won Oscars memes and quotes and everything from it. I feel like I've seen the whole movie just because of that, but I've never actually sat down and watched it. So Rick killed a guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, it's it's worth honestly. It's one of those like worth watching. Go check it out. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know what I watched uh, last night? <laughs> Rudy. For the first time in like <laughs> forever. You, you fast oh, no, it, wasn't, it wasn't last night. It was the night before last. It was the last night that we were sleeping like camped out like uh, homeless people in this demoed house. <laughs> It I was, was actually wondering weird. if you stayed there or not. Yeah, yeah we I stayed didn't figure there. you got an Airbnb. You got to no, check it for ghosts. We carved out little corners and we kept the door shut. A pea corner? <laughs> we put down canvas tarps so that like our little like sleeping area was somewhat clean. And the very last night, the whole house was ripped apart. And me and my friend Casey are sleeping on the floor. We had a fire going in the fireplace. And we opened up my laptop and we watched The Burbs. Oh, with, uh, such a good Hanks. movie! <laughs> but it was that such one... a cool like place to watch it, like in this torn <laughs> apart house. It was so good. That movie holds up. I watched it probably two months ago. Absolutely, the Burbs? Oh, yeah, it's it's right now. so good. If you haven't seen the Burbs? Go watch it. It's great. Casey Feldman. Oh Casey yeah, Feldman, yeah. Right. And Carrie yeah. Fisher back when Carrie she was Fisher. like attractive. Yeah, when she was still young. What do you mean when she was attractive? She's always been attractive. <laughs> yeah, Even she's now. like a. Troll now. Attractive now. She Tom like Hanks shriveled and decayed. Yeah. Soon. Okay. All right. Bruce <laughs> Stern. Bruce Stern is hilarious. Well, I yeah. to the list. I haven't seen that movie in years. Such but, a yeah, good it's a movie. Classic movie. Does a normal furnace go up to five thousand degrees? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that a thing that actually happened uh, not that long ago? They found some old couple in a house, and their furnace got up to like a thousand degrees. Oh, they were burning bodies. It's like yeah, a that, crematorium. It's like a thing I saw on TikTok, so it has to be true. Oh wait, oh, what's yeah, the yeah. the um? Hey, Pinocchio, what's the <laughs> what's the uh the kid's name with the buck teeth? He's always wearing like a wife beater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shard- what's the suspenders? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> where are you hey, going, Pinocchio, Pinocchio? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> <laughs> and he slips trying to get him. <laughs> oh man, it's, it's great. Oh, when that guy falls off the roof. Oh my god! He's doing surveillance up there. It's just so good. The whole thing. I think it's one of those movies that I've seen in like just in passing on cable TV randomly. Like, and I've never finished or started or whatever. I just seen parts of it. I gotta, I gotta check it out. Burbs. 
it's the, the only movie I've ever I think watched. It's on it, Amazon. It Prime. makes me. Yeah, it's on a Netflix right now. It makes oh, me want Netflix. to live in a suburb because I'm like, man, that seems <laughs> so much like so much fun. All right, <laughs> sorry. Questions. As long as there's no HOA. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. So uh, next question is from uh, Justin at Campfire Woodworks. Hey, Justin here from Campfire Woodworks. Listen, huge fan. Been listening to another Shop Sounds podcast since the very first episode, and I love it. Two questions for you. Uh, first one, Jason, as someone who's been on YouTube for a while, but has also tasted a bit of that Hollywood TV fame, what would you say are, your, are the biggest things that you liked best about dipping your toes into that side of content versus YouTube? And what was the biggest pain in the ass? Uh, and any advice for those of us who crave the fame and glamour of Hollywood? Mm -hmm. And my second question is for the group. What's the best shop pet? But you can't say cat or dog. I'll go first. It's going to be gerbil because you have unlimited wood chips for it to frolic in. Anyway, thanks, guys. Have a good one. Mm. Ooh. I just Jason, forgot that you how were about that Hollywood on... life? HGTV or something. He must be referring Magnolia. to when I was in the uh, the blockbuster film Evolution with David uh, Duchovny yeah. and Orlando oh, yeah. Bloom. Um, I uh, That was filmed when I was in middle school in my hometown, and I walked across the street as an extra. So I'm assuming that what he's, mm. that's what he's talking Wait, about. Wait, this is this is real life? This is, yeah, this is real life. There's yeah, he this was evacuation also scene. season two of uh, My 600-Pound Life. He looks yeah. great now. Back in the day. <laughs> It's also Gandalf standing in Lord of the Rings, <laughs> the two towers. When mm -hmm. when were he you falls one of the off towers? The bridge, no, he fell. <laughs> okay, just to set the record straight, I was in the movie Evolution. It was filmed on my well, part was of the, it really? on the street of my house. Yeah, yeah, not a very well known movie. It kind of flopped. But I was going like to say not a well known street. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> a great movie. It wasn't uh, who was uh, what's the guy? Uh, Jerry, say Scott. Hello. Hi, Jerry. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, to answer your question, oh man, I would say if you can do what you want to do on YouTube without getting involved in the whole rigmarole of television, then that is the way to go. It is just so much better in every single way. You have nobody telling you what to do or what they think or how you should do things. Your time is your own. You can make more money, in my opinion. Um, my experience with doing the TV show is it's just such a pain in the ass. Um, is that the a... money's not very good. That comes with a lot of empty promises of like, yeah, the money's not good, but you're going to be exposed to so <laughs> many more people and then you can market yourself. And I don't know. It was a pain. I wouldn't, I wouldn't it, recommend it. Is that an ongoing thing or is that come to an end or, or what's the situation? Well, like there? It's an it's still ongoing. Um, Hanging with Hibs or whatever it was. <laughs> Hibs shows you how. Um, <laughs> it's not dead yet. I'll say that I'm not supposed to talk too much about it. It uh, might have a continuation, and the only reason I'm even considering it right now is because the direction they want to take it in would actually not be a huge time commitment. Um, but I can't really talk about it too much. <laughs> it's so mysterious. I actually mm. found your IMDb page, which I don't have one, which is pretty impressive that you have one. And there's a Generation Freedom. You were also like, yeah. So that was a that? documentary that was on Netflix about people starting small businesses, and oh. um, they interviewed, I don't know, a handful of people, like six or eight people that had started small businesses and randomly the guys that did the documentary were out of Portland and somehow they got connected with me. I didn't know I had an IMDb page. You have an page. IMDb page, yeah. Yeah, I it set links. it up. I set it up before the show. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> cool. I have a Wikipedia page. Oh, maybe that's what you I said. Gotta, you got to update it. You throw some headshots on there. Yeah. yeah. You have, uh, you I will have say that though, and like, then Hibbs shows uh, you how. That, that, hanging that, with that, Mr. Hibbs. Hibbs. Oh, going back to his question, though, I really believe the future is YouTube. I honestly believe that. So apart from the uh, Magnolia thing we did, um, another thing that I'm actively doing, and a lot of makers out there are doing it, Ann Briggs is doing it, um, April Wilkerson, John Malecki, Justin Maybe, um, is licensing to This Old House's maker channel. Yes. 
Yeah. And that is such a smart business plan on this old house's part, because instead of having to hire a production crew and a film crew and all this stuff, they're just licensing people's content that already exists and they're making a channel out of it. And I could see a lot more of that happening. And it just, it's so much easier. So just do that network TV, forget making TV shows. Idiots. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dummies. I mean, like, I who well, oh, was Keith? I was telling him the other day. I'm like, dude, you don't have YouTube premium. That's where I consume most of my TV. Like, I just have YouTube going on most of the day. Dan is a coward. He also doesn't have YouTube premium. I, I don't refuse have YouTube to pay for I, guys. See? Like, I like. Here's the thing. It's worth I pay it for, for enough more. streaming services. I used to pay like two hundred dollars for cable for all the channels and all the whatever is like. I pay under a hundred bucks for everything else that I do. And like, yeah. and YouTube the premium, only TV the that I, I watch is, great. is whatever my wife is watching. Fair. And F1. That's about it. I don't watch <laughs> a lot of TV. I watch a lot of like, to me, like now if TikTok had premium, now yeah, you're oh, talking, I'd pay for I'm, TikTok premium. I'm not paying for no ads on that. Like that's just gross. <laughs> No, I'll stick to YouTube Premium. It's the best. And being so, we also travel often to where you have no service, and being able to download full YouTube videos is really nice. Yeah. So that's that's another plus. Playing with it, like you can play audio or whatever while your screen's closed and download stuff. I'm not trying to pimp them out, but like, yeah, that's you one have affiliate link or something. I wish I did, but the, honestly, that's one service. Like Netflix sucks. Honestly, there's, I feel like the, every year there's less stuff to watch on there. And like who is such a simpleton when it comes to like TV? Like if you sit me in front of the screen and you just put something on, I'll I'll watch it. Like I really just don't care. I can get into facts of life. I swear, like (laughs) ten years ago, probably it's probably been that long. I uh, we have Vudu, which I think is like Walmart's streaming thing where you can download movies and shows on there. Um, I downloaded the Band of Brothers series on Vudu. And I actually downloaded it onto my iPad, but it's like in my account downloaded. And that's the only thing I have downloaded on a device. So for the last 10 years, when I get on an airplane and I (laughs) open my device, the only thing I have access to watch is this Band of Brothers. I probably watch Band of Brothers 10, 15 times because that's all that's on there. I mean, it's, it's good. good. I don't care. I've seen it a million times, whatever. It's something to stare at. I just, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I'm probably dumb. I'm like, Ooh, like, okay. Movement. Well, that in Seinfeld. Like yeah, that in Seinfeld. Well, you know, I've had flights where I've downloaded your videos down on, onto really? my uh, iPad. Yeah, wow. yeah. Even Dan. Yeah, when, when you were putting out regularly. Wow. Yeah. And you know what? Regularly? Well, well, he I wouldn't was, say he had, regularly. He had, he had a Craig asterisk. I did for, uh, for a like bit. a couple months. Yeah. Okay. Craig Light. He had the free version of Craig. Well, I wouldn't <laughs> say it was free. <laughs> uh, wait, was there another question? I don't know. Justin oh, had the shop in pet. there. Oh, yeah, shop, shop a, pet. Yeah, he had a group question. Something about gerbils. Oh yeah, what's the ultimate shop pet? He said yeah, gerbil said because. Pet. Yep. I mean, it's I Keith. think just a, a goldfish. I yeah, found just, snakes in my shop. Before. You gotta skim oh. the sawdust off the water, though. <laughs> no, put a cover on it. Mm-hmm. Oh, what just keep them in a total boat uh, epoxy container. You have to put a VOC filter on a water tank, or they're gonna be okay. A dead epoxied rat. It's a dung so beetle. I, I, <laughs> dung beetle. When I lived like in New York City, at, like, rolling balls of sawdust out of the way. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> That's Ooh, what I was going to say, when I lived in New York goats City, I had sawdust? goats eat anything. They're like that little billy goat, goat, Give goat. Give me a goat. That, when you lived cartoon. in New York City. Sorry, I had two goldfish, Lewis and Clark. Oh. And they, I had them for four or five years, and then I moved wow, back to Massachusetts. And I took them with me. I had a fish tank with, I was like, I don't remember. I had somehow rigged up a pump in the car so they could survive the ride home. <laughs> then when we moved back to Connecticut, they were still, I made, they made the drive. And then one day they finally, we lost power in the middle of winter and didn't have heat for like three days. So it was like 30 degrees in the house and they froze oh, and I had to oh, bury them in the go. backyard. But Are you sure they, they were made, dead though? Oh, you think they were just playing dead? No, so or... this house that we bought in uh, Central Oregon has this pond out front with like this little waterfall oh, yeah, feature. Right, yeah. There's goldfish in the pond and the pond they freezes. They go like down, right? 
No, the pond freezes solid, and they'll freeze, and then cryogenically out, frozen. Shut up. When it thaws what? out, no, I swear to God, you killed the fish. Out, Keith. They <laughs> <you're> a monster <laughs> I guess again. So. I'm wondering. They won't. Did I bury him alive? You buried him alive. <laughs> I wow. tried to give him mouth to mouth, and nothing happened. Because I know, like, like people have koi fish ponds in Jersey, and they freeze. Like the top layers freeze. There's still water all the way at the bottom, and they'll just that's where they survive. They just hibernate or whatever. Huh. Goldfish are kind of crazy. I knew this girl that had um, these goldfish, and this one fish would always jump out of the tank. And a couple times she caught it right when it did it, and so she put it back in the tank and swim around. It. One time she came home, and this goldfish had jumped out of the tank, and it was like crispy and dried, stuck Ugh. to the carpet. And so she like picked it up. She was sad. She threw it in the toilet. While she was throwing it <laughs> in the toilet, she got distracted. Her mom called her. So she went downstairs. A few hours later, she comes up and it's swimming around in the toilet bowl. Wow, they are resilient. All right. Well, Keith, you little knows? murderer. You should go dig them up. They might still be alive. Oh, I'm thinking <laughs> they grew. In, I'm thinking they grew into growth. giant trees or something. Goldfish like, trees. You know, yeah, yes. goldfish yeah. trees. Yeah. It's a thing. Yeah. But you don't know. I love that Goldfish. this is how you learn that you're probably a terrible person. <laughs> I mean, I I did everything for those damn fish. You know, Jerry's like in the dry state area. I could have eaten that. Jerry's like, I, I could have eaten that. Like a fish called Wanda, the guy. Just... Could you drive us around and help us look for our car? My fish, my fish. <laughs> <laughs> the fish are dying. You do know that. Boy. What about uh, you, Jason? Shop pet, aside from Craig. I said dung beetle. Oh, oh good right. one. Yeah. Where do you get okay. one of those? I'm not sure. Mm. South I guess I could just America? picture them like gotta go rolling digging. balls of sawdust around on my shop floor, like positioning <laughs> them out of the way. Like circus animals? Yeah. Like balancing on top, rolling mm -hmm. around. All right, Dan. what did you guys say? Dan? I'm definitely going with goat. Goat? Yeah. Goat no, or snake, not... because I already have snakes in my shop. I'm sure of it. Dude, oh, but a goat, that. because... have to move. The more I think about it, I mean, the why are there so many the snakes in Iowa and Nebraska? I had a friend who lived in Iowa, and in his back. It's the perfect this, climate, Jason. He had this uh, concrete cistern that used to like hold water for the house. It didn't anymore. It was just sitting there. And I was visiting him one time, and we took the lid off of that, and it was like the scene from Indiana Jones. In the <laughs> oh God! Like, no way! The snakes all Raiders over of the, the Lost Ark. <clears throat> so one of us had the idea to pour five gallons of gasoline. Gasoline. Down there, mm -hmm. Oh God! And we dropped a road flare in there, and it shot up like a jet engine out of. Could have just done hole. a match. Why a road flare? <laughs> <laughs> Drama, baby. If you're gonna go look big, down there, and there's just like fried snakes floating in the water all over the place. <laughs> like we're making we're making uh, Keith feel bad about the goldfish. And yeah. Meanwhile, Jason's like, yeah. So, anyways, nap napalm is really yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Molotov cocktail down a Jeez. well to kill a I, I but I fully condone that. Take any snake and yeah. Oh, snakes it, are the end least end like you no, know, if you're a snake, it's not okay to be a snake. I just need you to know that. I will right. tread on you. I will tread on you. Well, we just lost our whole snake audience. That I had that a pet and... snake in uh in middle school is a ball python and his name was Reggie. Mm. No. No. I named him after spiders. The, the That's snake only in two... Indiana Jones. Snakes and spiders, I have snakes no friend. Pet snake, Reggie. Snakes are friends. They eat the spiders and the and the bugs. And I know, stuff. but <sighs> yeah, but nobody. You eats know, if them. snakes went away, all life on the planet would end in twenty four. There are people that eat snakes in twenty four hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scientific fact. Speaking yeah, of fact. Indiana Jones, they eat a python in the Temple of Doom or something like. Oh that. yeah, yeah. They cut it they... open and its babies crawl out. Oh yeah, oh, God, I forgot about one of them snakes surprise. <laughs> <laughs> right before or after they eat the monkey brains. Ugh. Shield monkey brains. Shield monkey brains. We get these like they're called wolf spiders. They're like this big. You, mm. Keith, you've probably seen them around. No, 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 oh, no. There's got, no bugs around here. No, I've had. I don't no, allow I'm, them in. You're ten Jesus. minutes from me. It's not like you're in a different climate, buddy. Never seen. I'm telling you, I've never seen. That's why I don't leave the house, dude. I mean, I guess I'm. I'm more out in the boonies. Hey, you're, you're, true story. One time, a bunch of us makers got together down in Nashville at one of our friends Stevie's house, built by Stevie. <laughs> Um, and we're all hanging out at her house, and she's got this little back patio area, so we light a little fire out there. All of us are sitting around the fire, except for Keith. Keith is sitting in the kitchen with the screen door shut. 
talking to us through the screen while everybody else is outside because he doesn't want to be outside with the Dude, bugs. there were bees <laughs> everywhere. Like, but... <laughs> so what? I hate things flying around and having to swat and like, get, or potentially getting bit. It is a freaking I... miracle that you come to Maker Camp every year. Well, what's funny is well, like, yeah, Keith, it's, like it's November, up... like they're all gone. Yeah, yeah I grew up hibernating. in the woods, basically. Yeah, you grew up in the woods in like a r- really rural house, like shoveling your own coal and firewood yep. and stuff. Like you grew up with bugs, and now you're like, no, nah, whole well, here's Amazon Prime. Oh, yeah. <laughs> here's what ch- here's what changed. When I got Lyme disease eight years ago, like t- like I don't go in the woods. Like every bug scares Fair. the living hell out of me. So right. I get it. Lyme disease is one of the worst ones. So, of all the citric diseases, that's that's, <laughs> that's the worst. Citric? One. Yeah. Yeah, that oh, orange man. disease will get you. Yeah, I mean scurvy. That's not. I'm just gonna make a scurvy. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna have a controversial answer to this one. The best shop pet. Best shop pet. She's gonna hear this. She's gonna oh, hit God. me later. Don't do it. Wives. Ouch. <laughs> wives wow. husbands significant others the best shop pet is another human been nice like been nice knowing you buddy but <laughs> here's the thing here's the key like so like i much like most people started out in the garage with no it, are you using a laser jason yeah, what is that what no. is that on the wall my my eight-year-old is outside <laughs> in the yard somewhere I guarantee, and he's shining a laser pointer in here because he's like, I thought it was doing like emoji, so like long. when you do a thumbs up, a thumbs I, up I, on the screen. It's done around 8 30. It's 8 45. I'm laser pointering you. I've out seen of all there. of us react to it like, yeah. what's, what's above Chase? I was trying to ignore it. Like, this is a but, laser pointer. Anyways, back from, I get distracted easily. But a significant other, is a friend, a person, another human is the best pet in a shop because you just. A, it's the whole thing of body doubling. You just get more work done with somebody's in there, like not distracting you, just like with you, either helping you out or they're waiting for you to finish up the next step. But well, and but if your also, wife is your shop pet, you could like maybe have some heavy petting. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, don't heavy, you, aren't you petting. like? Yeah, isn't it preventing you from getting some work done hey, sometimes? Yo. I mean, that you wanna... that bench does go up and down, right? It's a Oh, yeah, it's adjustable so, height. <laughs> yeah, it goes down to bed height. I didn't think we have a kid on the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Is it a shop made kid? <laughs> oh, but like the thing is, like, we started out. First of all, she's Sorry, from Emma. Florida. She is, she hates the cold. She hates being uncomfortable. So, like, the, sh- the shop has always been, like, you know, cold in the winter, super I'm, hot. She and hates being and uncomfortable, it. and she's from Florida. Isn't it like, yeah, really? I, well, that's right. She's down person. there. It's like the butt crack so, of like, America. Insulating it, having a seat, having good Wi-Fi in there, having a TV <laughs> in there, having now AC and heat in there. Like that's that's how you like make the perfect environment for a uh wife is domesticus, a domesticus, whatever the whatever the Latin term for a wife is. <laughs> <laughs> Senorita. Senorita. Sorry, yeah. Mary and Emma. Yeah, yeah, so no, but honestly, like uh pets one thing, but like having another person in there with you, it's mm. it's uh it's nice. Nice. Other than I that, I don't think you followed the rules of the question. No. Just saying. Other than that, next I'll, question. I'll, I'll, no, get a plant. Get a oh, plant in the yeah. shop. <laughs> yeah, I mean that could be a pet, like a pet rock. No, I have one. That's, I have a that's pet ball dying. of sawdust. Mm. <laughs> and you I, have a I, pet, yeah. pet dust collector that blows up once a week. <laughs> okay. I could have talked about that like, once on my bed. <laughs> you you could have. <laughs> All right, let's um, get to the next question. Yeah, next one's from uh, Braden. Hey guys, Braden with the LB Dub Dubs. Uh, I feel like we got like a battle of the bands type situation going on tonight. I'm loving the intensity, loving the energy. Uh, glad to see you guys made it through the podcast rumble. You know, second and third place are, you know, that's pretty good. That's that's up on the poll. Get out of here. Um, my question for you guys tonight is going to involve each of you to know your co-hosts um, better than you know yourself. So if you guys had to challenge the other podcast so pete and dan you against jason and keith to some sort of duo activity so this could be like a three-legged race this could be tennis that i mean it could be anything if you guys had to challenge each other to a competition what would you pick that you know that your podcast could definitely win hope you guys have a great night See you guys later. Bye. 
woodworking. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Jason dropped out during a pre-show. We're like, ah, oh, you ain't, you ain't gotta tell people. You ain't gotta tell people that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's not even what I was thinking of. That I know we, me and Keith, would probably beat you guys at. Well, what is it? What is it? Go ahead. Seinfeld trivia. Ah, mm. oh, sh- he's got me there. I don't think you realize how much Seinfeld I watch. Oh, doesn't matter. It's like a it's less than me. I used to have Seinfeld trivia cards in here. I would have read some. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we started doing one. that as a. I, I, would, I would. I would. Segment. I would. I would. I would agree to that. That battle. Dan and I would absolutely crush you guys in a drink off. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No. It's that's like true. underwater. Yeah. Like I. I think. One. Like, cause here's the thing. Dan could like level Jason. And, and and like Jason's he's bourbon challenge. Oh, and like all I have know. to do is just coast to take out Keith on that one. <laughs> I don't think you realize how much of a problem I have, Jason. I uh, I do love my bourbons. I lo- do love my brown okay. liquors. Well, see, that's where I would be handicapped because Keith doesn't drink at all. I know. Right. Well, that's yeah, what, so you well, I drink enough for probably like six people. I'm just joking. I really don't drink that much. <laughs> but also, like if honestly, we went, you like, guys would golf totally win at that. Like golf tournament, we would lose. You know. Oh, yeah, we could beat him at golf, I bet. Yeah. I haven't mm. played golf in 15 years. Oh, yeah, we got him then. Mm. Yeah, uh, you'd probably beat us in a race, I feel like. Uh, a foot race? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Like a presidential I race? Are we doing the <laughs> push-ups? Me push-ups or Keith are very um, into aerobic activities that often. I am not one to move. Get <laughs> Have a yoga, yoga <laughs> He's <off>. very anaerobic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, first to 1,000 on a new YouTube channel. Yeah, I feel like you guys would win that. <laughs> uh, highest cholesterol, me and Dan win. Ooh, Thank I you. Win. Oh, yes. Yeah, we do. I got yeah. That. You're most likely donuts. to get the meat sweats. <laughs> <laughs> most butter content. Uh, oh, most mayo content also. Yeah, when squeezed. <laughs> I went off my- mayo. 10 years ago and never looked back. I'm all about Mayo, the vegan what, A's now. It's a major food group. No, the vegan wait, wait, A's. I'm, like, A's, I'm anti-mayo too. Wait, anti-mayo. like Vegemite? Why, why or... do we even have these two on our podcast? What the hell? Mm-hmm. Go to the grocery store, go to like the organic food section, find no. a jar of vegan A's. I live in Nebraska, sir. It is yeah, the illegal. best I can't have it in Nebraska. you will have ever tasted. So much better than mayonnaise. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. I think you realize who you're talking to right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, Dan. You go find vegan A's. You take a spoonful of that. Um. Okay. I'm gonna make. You'll be like, wow, I'm gonna go to the store tomorrow good. and try to find this stuff in Nebraska. I think it's gonna be impossible, but I'll give it a shot. No, you'll find it. I'll try. And I'll, try. I'll make. I'll make a reel tomorrow or a short video, and I'll tag mm. you in it. And it's gonna be awful. No, Put a giant Vegan doll up on Casey's pizza. I will tell you though. One time I was um <laughs> I was in Iowa visiting some friends, and we went out to dinner. And on the menu, I saw that there was a veggie burger. And I was like, okay, I'll get that. I ordered the veggie burger. They bring me out a hamburger. <laughs> and I'm like... It's, it's um, grass-fed beef. <laughs> no, I said I ordered yeah. the veggie burger. <laughs> grass, they're, like, they're like, yeah, the veggie burger, that comes with lettuce, tomatoes, and pickles on it. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was the veggie burger. No way. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Oh my god! That's even better than grass fed like, beef. Otherwise, what is yeah. it? Just like, like burger and like ketchup? Just meat and cheese, I guess. Ah, oh, that's yeah, so kind weird. Of fun. Oh. That's how I eat my burgers: patty, mayonnaise, cheese. That's it. Wow. That's it. Maybe a pickle every now and then. Speaking of pickles, uh, here's a question from Tama. He's from oh. France. Yeah, what a pickle! Hey guys, all right. I'll try to speak as clear as possible, even if I only have like five minutes to make this recording, because I don't want to scare away the boat builder and the cat peter. Speaking of pronunciation, J- Jason, in a recent video or podcast, I can't remember, you spoke of using a frying pan or something as a jig. You called it a croisette. Um, actually, it's a French brand and it's pronounced Creuset. It's not because there is a T at the end of the word that you have to say it. It's like a croissant and not a croissant. So, yeah. Anyway, since all or, or most of you guys have made uh, built in for clients, I have uh, this question for you. I made this huge uh, bookshelf for someone. 
it's like two by four, five meters. You have to make the conversion because I don't have time. And I had to fix it into a wall. And for something like a week, I was scared it, it would fall. Uh, I almost uh, lost sleep over it. Um, did it ever happen to you? And how did you manage it? By the way, Thomas of the future, you have to wake up in like four hours to finish your kitchen <sighs> flooring, 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 the floor. <laughs> the floor. So you better go to bed. All right. Bye. Was he asking if we've ever had built-ins fall out? Is that what he was asking? Yeah. Well, I got to say, though, like, well, it, it just absolutely amazes me every week that, like, a man from France calls in that good at English. Mm. Better than some people I've met in the U.S. Like, I've been down to, like, Cajun, Georgia. I like, feel like... <laughs> like, like... This is better English than I've heard in the I've U.S. I've been to Louisiana. Yeah, like it's it's. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so he he's saying uh, he uh, Jason you used a le croissant, uh pot as, yeah. a, as a as a circle jig. I say yeah, for the croissant. Is that not right? La croissant. La croissant. But he's saying that the s's are z's. He said la croissant. Yeah, la the croissant. the u, the t, and the z Jean is silent. Long mustache. <laughs> <laughs> la croissant. Hey, listen, use, um, uh, use whatever you got in the shop. As a judge. It's called a le template. <laughs> le, and le template. It's a I le, just know that they were ple. expensive enough that when I brought it back inside and told my wife what I used it for, she got really mad. Right. But then oh, did you sell the do. idea to the blue yeah. or the green <laughs> rockler? <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. Well, I use a $400 blue pot. She gets mad, but I use a $800 domino and it's okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> it worked really good, though. I got to say, anything round. It, I mean, that, but that has way like better two than handles I thought it on it. It, just, it better it be works. perfectly round for that cost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, they all are in standard sizes. Like, I needed a 10 inch circle, 10 inch, a 10 inch <laughs> pot. I mean, it's, yeah, it's great. So, uh, it's regulation pots. That's why you go to, to France. Answer for his that. question about built ins falling or cabinets falling out of the wall. Most cabinets I have ever installed or taken out of homes have like two screws in them. Yeah. They're fastened but, in some way, but it doesn't have to be a lot. Yeah. I mean, as a really doesn't have to walls be much. keep it tight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I wouldn't worry Wedges about it. As long there. as you got a couple yeah, yeah, screws yeah. and some studs or baguettes is what they probably have over in front. <laughs> um, Baguette. They get rock hard Baguette. once they get dry, right? So like, yeah, they're yeah. Day anywhere. <laughs> I will say I was in France one time and the thing that fascinated me was there's literally French people walking down the street holding baguettes. Not in a shopping bag, not like in a paper bag, just a baguette in their hand walking down the street. To like fight, people, beat, to fight beat off Beat away Germans. criminals. Yeah. <laughs> they're just like they, they get off work and they go grab a baguette and they go home and they're just carrying it down the street. It's, it's weird. like a snack for when they're walking home or? I don't know. It's crazy. A walk Is it snack? like when we buy veggies in, in the U.S., like we buy them, you put them in the fridge and next week you buy them again and you take the old and ones throw them out? Away. Throw them away. Baby <laughs> carrots. <laughs> a bag of baby Isn't it true in France that there has to be always a bakery open 24 hours a day so that you can always get fresh bread i'm assuming oh yeah i mean i that's, a, that's all the i know about i would move there that tracks all i know about french france is the big mac is called the royal with cheese that's all i know oh i will so, say so your McDonald's culture comes france from france fiction fancy yes. like in <laughs> paris the mcdonald's we went to they were swanky they had like the mick cafe but it was like an actual cafe it was Did nice. they have waiters like table service? Uh, no. Drink some like, water. That... But like fancy for McDonald's. For McDonald's. Yeah. They even had the little, uh, what are those little French uh, like cookie things? Uh, Croissant. Crumpets? No. They That's got, British. Like, the cream in the middle and they're like the hard. Like, Cannoli? Shell no, it's Italian. Top. No, what are those uh, things? Um, like, they're different colors. Claire. No, they're like, no? they're like pink and green and yellow and they're little sandwich <gasps> cookies. Oh, the, uh, the macaron. Macaron, Mac that's what they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have those at McDonald's. It was like really nice. You sure it's not wow. macaron? I had a horse <laughs> meat for the first time at, uh, in France. We went to a Ooh. Chinese restaurant. They had a, like a sweet and sour horse. Oh, Whoa. you don't see that here. No. <laughs> I got sushi that's in Poland what they, once. That was interesting. When you order a veggie burger, <laughs> burger in Nebraska, you, you, you get horse. Mm. Oh, that's... Uh... I don't know why we don't eat horse, to be honest. I mean, what's the difference between a horse and a cow? 
My friend Jay Riemann Schneider eats horse all the time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> See? Uh, Dan, you I, pick I, up on that? Nope. <laughs> ah, we got you. <laughs> there you go, Seinfeld trivia. All right, Ooh, you win. Damn, podcast damn, one. Embarrassing me. Another way, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to spend my whole weekend watching Seinfeld now. Oh, yeah. I will not Training be beating. for the next episode that won't yeah, come. Take some magnesium and watch it. <laughs> you won't remember any Magnesium of it. and Cialis. And Cialis. You went oh, uppers boy, and downers. You. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. One to fall asleep and one to keep <clears throat> me up. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Unfortunately, I do know. Yeah, uh, speaking of falling asleep, isn't it like midnight over there? Yes, it is. Uh, it's uh, it's eleven yeah. fifty nine. You cowards! Two to tell. Pete, you want to come over later and play? Yeah, sure, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we keep regular hours. Yeah. Uh, what, this is podcast that... is a train wreck. Are we about done? Yeah, so. sure. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, this is better than I thought it was going to be. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Mainly yeah. Well, Keith is so I just dry. want to take a moment and uh, thank you guys for coming on. <laughs> yeah, that, You're welcome. Thank you for You're joining welcome. us, guys. Uh, where can everyone find you that is listening to our podcast? <laughs> um, go to another youtube.com slash another woodshop podcast. Oh, well, hey. Is there a youtube.com slash shop sounds? Yeah. Is there? Yeah, Hello? there is. Sure. Is there? Yeah. Yeah. Just um, the best way to find us is patreon.com slash shop sounds podcast. <laughs> right. Then you can Patreon. access the YouTube. Patreon.com slash another bookshop podcast. Yeah, yeah. And then you we got, don't, you know. We don't charge for our. Bourbon our Moth, Keith Johnson, Daniel Dunlap, and Peaches Workshop. There you go. You'll find all four. We're pretty much the same thing across all the platforms. Yeah. And if you're uh, here, you know. You know. That is, that is true. Why do we tell everybody every week? Yeah. I mean, if you're here, you know. For you know what, there's always someone looking for podcasts. Like every week, um, I I think we get at least a handful of people that both of our podcasts that are like, let's give it a shot. I don't know what this mm. is. I need something new. All right, these guys sound like they know what they're talking about, and then halfway through, they're like, what is happening? Probably accurate. <laughs> what's yeah. what's up, Jason? And then Jason's right in the chat. <laughs> He's using the chat. <laughs> Uh, I just found out there was a chat. <laughs> found the chat. I dropped the link to that article about the. Oh yeah, I see oh. that. Yeah, 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 cool. Yeah. It's a real right. thing. <laughs> it's a real thing. Well, thanks well, for I gotta go to sleep. It's, it's almost like uh, nine o'clock here. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's almost. Right, so nine. is there an after show now? No, no, no. Well, unless oh, you guys do, do the after show. show. No, they do the pre-show. You can we'll do, do our after own after show for the after show when we film our ad stuff tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. We'll do that. That's good that I don't have to be there for that. I'm. I'm excited. I have yeah. to go tuck my little guy into bed. He was shining me in the eyes with a laser yeah. pointer earlier. So. Wow, he's up late. <laughs> Either that or you got a sniper problem. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> it is a problem. Uh, it's, it's, it first, like, the neighbor's heads fall off. And yeah. Now you got a sniper problem. Not the first body they found in the area. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should move out to that property in the woods. Yeah, yeah maybe. Permanently. Oh, they get so much snow out there. Ugh. All right, I hate goodbye, so I'll see you later. All right. Uh, I love you, too. Oh. Bye, bye. Well, Dan, do you want to do the outro for our podcast that they're yeah. on? <laughs> uh, thank everybody for listening. Please share the show in your stories. Share it with your grandma. Share it with your friends and family. Uh, share it with people you want to go to the like. after show, go to patreon.com slash yeah, yeah. shop sounds go, podcast. Go, go check out both Patreons. <laughs> Support both shows because we give you two to four hours of media every week so you know right. enjoy it it's mediocre at best so yeah you can go find us over on patreon.com slash another woodshop podcast you can also go find those guys there somewhere mm -hmm. uh come join us next week we're gonna have the pineys from pine baron pallet works on yeah that's and it then, that's uh, all i got keith and jason are gonna have each other on we're gonna have vegan A's on. Vegan A's. Oh, vegan A's. oh that reminds me. I need to write that down. Vegan A's. Hashtag I'm gonna sponsored. Go find some vegan A's. <laughs> I'm more of a Vegemite guy. <laughs> oh, I right, spell well, vegan A's. Marmite guy. <laughs> good night. Uh, the, the Z is silent, Dan. All right, good night, guys. Okay. Love y'all. Bye, 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 bye. Love you a long time. Bye, bye.